Well, here we go once again. We're back at the nightclub, huh? Uh, listen, today, oh my God, we got a special guest. Very special. Very special guest. Long time friend we've been trying to get of the a, nine club, we've been trying to get our know? longtime friend on the show for a long time yeah yeah he's finally here we got uh mark johnson is joining us here hello <laughs> <laughs> hey kelly hey what's I, up buddy hi mark how are you i'm good man i like your hat thank you yeah. i guess you i'll get you some what, what oh. is what is that it's uh abc uh sitting next to mark as always we got raj mm -hmm. and uh over there in his corner on the button in his own little world we got kelly hart oh yeah kelly's got oh, a yeah. new button he's oh, got a new yeah. button here. oh chris I made a new button chris made him. a new button for me and this thing is yeah, awesome it's, it's good Look, the old button the old yeah. button broke yeah it was made out of cardboard yeah. yeah so you know we upgrade it we always upgrade here on the nine club you know yeah. this <laughs> is what your donations go towards yeah. you know new buttons and everything speaking of uh donations oh, yeah, you got a little fucking thing <laughs> are you gonna are you donating that to us right now donating oh, five dollars here i'll take that man i'll take that. <laughs> oh, I'll put that shit in my pocket right there you know what i mean thanks i get five percent right thank you what is that what if, what's five percent of uh, it's one twentieth so what is that though? it's five times five is 25 cents 25 i'll give you a quarter yeah Kelly. Thanks, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, it adds up over time. You can go, bu you can go buy Parking a little meters. piece of yeah. bubble gum in the in little Ralph's. <laughs> in the little Ralph's. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Those are like 75 cents No, now. they are. Are they really? <laughs> you get a little piece of shit Like the gumball toy? machines? Yeah, yeah gumball. expensive. Oh, God. You got, yeah, dude. It's like a... It's like the laundromats now, where it's like three seventy five for a wash, and you're just like one, two, three. Ch -ch -ch, yeah, one, who two, does three, that? Right? Yeah. Some people I just go to the meet yeah. chicks. Do you meet tricks, chicks at a laundromat? You I don't met know. chicks there, Raj? Yikes! All the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Yikes. So we'll save that for a different show. I mean, imme know. immediately you go to the laundromat, and you're like. This ch this chicken got a washer and dryer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's, exactly. that's you already know. Like yeah. she ain't got a washer yeah. and dryer. Like what else doesn't she have? Exactly. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Who knows? Yeah. It's fucking. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a. Hey, you know, Raj. Maybe Raj's onto something. You know, I don't know. It's weird because Roger Maybe, has yeah. one. That's why it's weird. Yeah, has a chick or well, a washer and dryer. He has a washer and dryer, oh. and he has a chick too. Yeah, and he's going to the laundry mat to meet chicks. <laughs> the fuck is going it's, on it's, here? It's good people watching. Okay, <laughs> shit. I don't know whatever Raj does in his spare time. You know, nobody. Knows. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't think so. You know either. So, uh, so what's good, dude? Everything good, man? You've been skating and doing all that stuff, and uh, yeah, good, skating yeah? like periodically, like in okay. little like did it, it, and then did it, it, it. Really? Um. Yeah. Should I like? Kind of like how? Should I? I mean, I have a gift for you guys. Can do I you? Just, do yeah, you? yeah, yeah. I got a gift for you guys. Is, is this the first time somebody's brought us a gift here? I wish people, more people would do. That. I know. Yeah. I love fucking gift. Wait, what do you? Who's who's it for? By the way, is it for? Is it for me? It's for the, it's <laughs> for the show. Oh, okay. Because you guys have you guys have so much cool stuff on the like in the background here. Yeah. So much cool yeah. eye candy, mm -hmm. and I've watched every single episode, Thank and you, I kind of know some of the. I know okay. what would like work with the oh, the show. Okay. And you know what's missing. So are you got like? I oh yeah, we're. Yeah. Re you got it. We yeah, love I'm gifts. A, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's see. This is great. This is insane. This yeah. is great. He's digging into his bag. What do you got in your bag, bro? You know, this fucking guy. So what I got a. Weird. I got something framed for you guys. Oh. Yeah! What wow! Look at that frame. That Jesus serious. Christ! That man. thing looks like a oh computer. Oh my god! <laughs> there it is! Wow, you know? dude! Wow! Is that the my switch is that switch over and over? You know, yeah. it's, it's on loop. So this is on loop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my! Look at this. So this. The, okay. So I got you guys an iPad. <laughs> right. And an iPad frame. Wow. And then loaded onto the iPad is four and a half hours of <laughs> <laughs> four and a half hours of the switch flip switch yes. manny oh on my. loop oh my god this is this perfect is we never have to mention it again i know no no that's not true check it out that's check it out chris well, you're gonna take that home and leave it in your house aren't you I know. look at that it's yeah. a fucking great frame you yeah get it on uh, amazon you say Amazon this? Yeah, we'll link it. Oh, the show. yeah, we'll link it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. We'll link it. Dude. Affiliate program. Wait, okay. is there audio well, to that what? too or no? <laughs> yep. I'll tell you what, Mark. God, yeah, I, I can listen and watch this all fucking day long, dude. And Thank that's you, what bro. it's for. Thank you, man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it behind me because, I, well, I can get rid of the elephant in the room now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful gift. How are you gonna be able to do the show like I don't your know. head turned like that anytime? This is tough, you know. 
It's great though, you know. Thank you, bro. It's uh, thank you. You're welcome, man. Yeah. I'm stoked. It's I wanted awesome. to I wanted to contribute something to the, yeah, dude, thanks, the awesome Mark. collection. Yeah. So, okay, so Mark, <laughs> let's 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 dive in. Oh, right. Let's you dive uh in. you grow you grew up in North Carolina, right? North uh, North Cackalac. Uh right? I grew up between uh North Carolina and Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah. What what is that is that called something? Is there or is it just is it called in between? No, I mean I was born in North Carolina. Oh. Moved to Virginia. Okay. Moved back to North Carolina. Right. Moved back to Virginia. Okay. Moved back to North Carolina. Wow. Moved back to Virginia. Why were you bouncing just back ping-pong. like yeah, why were you ping ponging it? Uh my mother's family uh-huh. had all migrated to a town in western North Carolina called Marion. Okay. And my father's family had yeah. all migrated to Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh, okay. They're all from, you know, my, my mom is from Atlanta. Mm. My dad is from uh, outside of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Did you go to my, uh, Mount Trashmore? Yeah, not, a, not to skate. What's I that? didn't go to Mount, Mount Trashmore, Trashmore to skate until like the late 90s. Right. What's Mount Trashmore? Is that a it skate is, park? It oh, is a skate park. It's a landfill really? that they covered in dirt and then planted grass on it. <laughs> These fucking guys. <laughs> you know, I mean, hey, not let's not hide anything. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, yeah. Mount, yeah. Mount Trash Pile. Good. Okay, so then, um, so you started skating in North Carolina. Is that right? Or in between or wherever the, in Mount Trashmore? Or so, you started? Yeah, like really, really skating. Yeah. I started skating in uh, North Carolina in okay. ni- 1990. But you have an interesting story of when you moved out here. Right, so you've been skating in North Carolina for a while, right? And then you moved, you moved out to the to the West Coast. Yeah. Right? So I've been skating for three and a half years, so from thirteen to right. like sixteen and mm-hmm. sixteen and a half or whatever you want to say. And then uh, I got just a random fucking opportunity to get in a car. Right. That was heading back to California. Weren't you like coming out of a 7-Eleven or something and the car pulled up or like oh, you, you were like, and you were like, no. okay, I'm just going to jump in. No. So one of our skate spots in the town, the town's called Winston-Salem. Mm-hmm. One of our skate spots was a gas station that had gone out of business. Okay. Yeah. So, I think I've seen footage of you there, right? Is that, that, does it have a little white uh, curb things on it or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is like, that the old you know, sponsor, me sponsor, me sponsor me video? Sponsor me video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a no slide across the thing, you know. Right. Like, yeah. I, I edited his sponsor me video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old dirty bastard. Yeah. And uh, who, who else was it? The uh, who, Macy Gray. Macy Gray. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. So it was that gas station. Okay. So that was one of our spots because, dude, it was like the curbs that have the metal on them. Yeah, right. You know, the metal coping. Totally. Um, So we were skating there. I think it was like a Thursday or a Friday or something. This car pulled in and it was some dudes that that we knew that were from there Mm -hmm. but had left and moved to California like a year or so prior. Right, right. And they had come back to visit. Oh. Were they Chet Childress? No, no, no. It was this dude Todd, this dude Udama. Hmm. And then these two guys from New York that they met in California okay. came back with them. Oh. I think one guy's name was Brandon and one guy named, one guy, uh, his name was Mike. So four dudes in a Honda, like an 82 Honda Accord hatchback <laughs> right. pulled in to the gas station. Uh-huh. You know, we were just like, oh, weird. Like, who are these dudes? And they got out and it was just like, holy fuck. What up, dude? Like, oh, my God. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had been to California. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it was a crazy thing. And then the two, um, one of the dudes took a bus back up to New York from Winston Salem, and there was an open seat when they had, pl- they were like, yeah, we're visiting for a week or something. Okay. And that dude broke out. And then uh, when those guys were about to head back out of town, the the guy Todd was like, we were skating one day, and he was like, hey, man, like, we have an open seat in the car. Like, you want to jump in and come to California, dude? And I was like, wow. Yeah. But like, come out to, like, what? stay with us or come out just to come like to visit and so then get a like he had let i there guess was no plan one way like no yeah, plan one way one way drive it was right? yeah no plan i guess he had like he they had moved out of their apartment before the cross-country trip oh and they didn't have anywhere to go when they got back fucking hell uh-huh. so there was like nowhere to go no plan don't know where you're gonna fucking <laughs> like, yeah sure. dude don't know where you're gonna stay None of those dudes had money. So what was your thinking though to go to jump in the car? Were you just like, yeah, there's nothing really going on here in there this was town. Not, dude, like there maybe was I can nothing. What, what, when you were doing when you were skating back then, were you were you already trying to get sponsored or like were you trying to like no. maybe do something in skating and you thought maybe hey I can go out to California where this is all happening or no, no dude. you just wanted to change the scenery for the time period. 
and for the perception of getting sponsored and the perception of living in California right, yeah. was so like unattainable. Right. Like I knew sponsored dudes. Yeah. I knew pro guys or whatever. Oh, okay. But um was it hanger in uh Salem Winston? Uh Eastern Vert. Eastern Vert. So okay. like there were sponsored dudes that skated Eastern Vert. Okay. You know, Vert and Mini Ramp and stuff. Oh wow. Um so I knew some of those guys, but those dudes were like actual good skateboarders. Right, right. You know, like Brian Howard, Neil Hendricks, oh, yeah. like wow. there were a bunch of dudes, oh, sick. but they were like good. Yeah. Like I wasn't good. Wow. So there wasn't, it wasn't, I was just like skating with my friends because that's course, what you right. do and you love it, you know? 15, 16 years old. Yeah. yeah. You watch videos and you're, I was fucking obsessed with it. So the, the concept of like ever doing something with it or moving to California, just not it even, wasn't even right. no, wasn't even a thing. So yeah. when the opportunity came up, kind of like where I was, um, where I was in my life, like mentally, mm -hmm. was like I like I had like started to kind of like I was like skipping school a lot, like kind of like I don't know, it's weird. Like I was in this really strange funk yeah, with right. my family life. Okay, so maybe you thought it would just be best. Hey, let me get out of here for a little while. Yeah, and it wasn't like and oh, it was yeah, it definitely wasn't like oh, I'm gonna go to California and get sponsored. I was like, right. I was like, I'm gonna go to California and and wash dishes, and <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to California, wash dishes, and skate, the fucking you know, skate the Greyhound bumps, or I'm gonna yeah. skate like jump right. ramp school, or yeah. I'm gonna skate fucking San Jose and maybe meet Salman Aga or whatever. Yeah. Right, right. We didn't know. I didn't know where we were gonna go. It was like, huh. we're going to go to San Jose and then Santa Cruz and then San Diego. Oh, okay. Like wow. we, we like drove straight to San Jose, then went to Santa Cruz, then San Diego. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're making the West Coast tour. One of the dude's girlfriends lived in Santa Cruz. Gotcha. So we just showed up and like slept on like a dirt floor somewhere in right, some dude's right. basement. I mean, it's fun, right? When you're like 15, 16 <laughs> and like, you're just yeah, like, you don't give a fuck. Winging it. Yeah. Fucking, like, what do you got to yeah. do? Right? Like, you like no bills. Yeah. When you're when you're from like a really small town, I mean, this was 1993. Right, right. So your perception of the world is like so fucking small. As small as your wheels? I didn't have, <laughs> you know, but the, the, beauty, the beauty of it is there was not an ounce of anxiety Yeah. about, holy fuck, what's going to happen? Right. Yeah. I had none of that. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna get my next meal. Yeah, but dude, this is sick. But, and you, but, you, but you were with a bunch of people that were figuring it out too, and so you guys were all kind of in it together. Yeah, and, and like, like, yeah, I was with, yeah. I was with some dudes. Uh, I was with some dudes who already knew people out there, mm -hmm. so I wasn't worried about it. I'm like, oh, the, and then you know, they were like, oh, when we get to San Jose, my friend so and so, right, we're gonna stay at his house and and, like, cool. in his basement. I'm yeah. like, cool. How much yeah. money did you have in your pocket when you left? I had 80 bucks. 80 bucks. My mom gave me 40 bucks and my neighbor gave me 40 bucks. Your neighbor? Wow. Well, the downstairs oh. neighbor. Okay. I, I, oh. I, like, a little duplex thing. My family lived on the top floor of this lady's house. I mean, in 91, 92, 93, I mean, four, 80 bucks, it can go a long way. I didn't have a concept of, oh, fuck, this isn't enough money. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was, because, dude, I, I grew up poor as shit. Right. So eighty dollars to me at one time in my hand was like I'm rich. Yeah, dude. It was yeah, like seriously. holy fuck, I have eighty bucks. And the crazy thing was like none of those dudes had money. So when we took off, they're you know it's like say the dudes are driving, guys in the pa I'm in the back, and they're all like, <laughs> <laughs> you get the gas. Next. We know who's getting the gas. We know who's yeah. paying for Taco Bell. We know who's doing <laughs> this. We know you, motherfucker. Yeah. Wow. And that eighty bucks was gone before we hit the state line. Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Damn, damn. What uh, was your first job? So my first job in San Diego was a bus boy at a delicatessen um, called DZ Akins. So th so you had your job and everything, you're skating. Now, did you guys stay down in San Diego? Because you, you, I mean, you eventually moved up to San Jose. Yeah, dude, you know what's crazy? Like back then, like a couple of months feels like years right. so we were only in san diego from december to april okay wow and it felt like a lifetime yeah you know so we had a i don't even know if it was a six months or a year lease uh, or a year whatever mm -hmm. on our apartment but i know we broke we broke the lease and we, oh. we broke the fuck out wow we yeah. didn't even tell them we were moving out Really? <laughs> yeah. Like we didn't. Yeah. Like, I don't even think we took anything. I think we just bailed. Really? Wow, wow. Yeah, dude. In our apartment, like the guy Todd was like, he was like an alpha. Okay. He, he had was a in, very he was in control. He was the guy who was like, 
he had the ideas he had the like he was just go 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 do it do it do it and um i remember and i so i had a job at dz akins got fired because my roommate my roommate didn't show up to work to, because we went to the Powell skate zone. Oh. <laughs> I, I had the day off. Yeah. I had the day off, yeah. right? And we went to the Powell skate zone. My roommate, who I who worked there too, he went with us and he skipped work. So they fired both of us. Oh, God. Damn, really? dude. Yeah, dude, they fired both of us. <laughs> so, so you guys got fired and then uh, what? So we were saying like, uh, when, when did you go back up to San Jose? Was it shortly after you got fired? So I think we got fired in, in uh, either late January or early February. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got new jobs. Oh, in at, San Diego. Yeah, in San Diego at, oh, another, wow. at another deli. Right. Like making sandwiches. You guys were making your hopping around from deli to deli. And then uh, one day... Um, Todd came back to the apartment and he was like in a really bad mood and he was just like fuck this I want to go I want to go back up to San Jose so you guys piled in the uh, Honda hatchback it was crazy because it was like dude we've only been here for like five four months five months mm -hmm. and we just got you, we just settled in and right, like holy fuck right, and he's right. just like <laughs> like uproot like we're going up there wow that's gnarly and dude I was like I kind of argued with him about it and I remember like he was like fuck you go back to North Carolina Wow. Yeah, and I was like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do this. Yeah. Todd was like, fuck you. Take your ass back to North Carolina then. And I was like, oh, nope. Guy seems kind of harsh, but yeah. He's just alpha. Mm -hmm. But Dudes. you know what, though? Like, if you would, I mean, God, it turned out so well, though. You know, I mean, like, go, going to it, back to dude, San Jose. If you, you, you could have easily gone back so, to North Carolina, you know? It, seriously? Yeah. Like, it's so fucking crazy. Like, what happened once I got to San Jose? Mm. Like I was supposed to go to San Jose. Yeah, they meant like, to be. That was your like, yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, so what happened when you get to San Jose? We leave San Diego and like with nothing. We're not taking our fucking like stolen furniture. <laughs> stolen. <laughs> Everything where, in our apartment. Where do you steal furniture? Hotel lobbies. Oh wow, what? Hotel. Yeah, Just run in, run out. So big hotels that have convention centers yeah. and meeting ballrooms or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's the front entrance of the hotel, and then there's all these side entrances and stuff. And along those corridors for those ballrooms and shit like that, there's, fuck, there's furniture. There's right. Couches, <laughs> they got like fake plants. They got two chairs. For, the roommate was just like, "We need a fucking couch. We're going to, you know, we're going to this nice ass hotel, and we're stealing a fucking couch." Back then, there were no cam no, there were no cameras. No, dude. Or like you know. No, 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 no. Probably one security guard like, for the whole fucking building. Uh, uh, we got our microwave from the continental breakfast area of like another <laughs> hotel. <That's> amazing. <laughs> all of our oh all of our God. coffee cups, all of our silverware, coffee cups, salt and pepper shakers. Denny's. Denny's. We're stolen yeah. from Denny's because okay. Denny's was uh, up the street from our apartment. Oh, yeah. yeah. The fucking the the TV. The co the entertainment console, I think it was either bought with stolen money or stolen. Right. The coffee table was stolen. Our beds were made of um, found mattresses on um, milk crates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I'd love to see the landlords come in and be like, what the fuck? This looks like the Grand Hotel downtown. <laughs> Dude, so we had two variations of couches. So the first couch we stole was one of those really weird, like, it looked like a love seat from like the late 1800s. Okay. It was just pat, like a padded flat thing and a padded back and very decorative. Right. <laughs> it wasn't like a couch couch. Mm -hmm. so at right. some point, like, you know, he was like, this fucking shit sucks over it. I'm going to go get a real couch. So went and got like a proper cat, like a real fucking couch. <laughs> Stolen that thing in the back of a 82 Honda Civic or Honda Accord <laughs> hatchback. Just giant couch I'm hanging out the back. <laughs> just that shit going down the eight freeway, just fucking low riding, right, right. dude. Wow. I would have loved to see you guys just going out of the hotel, like I know, you guys grabbing it, just like putting it. Go in the go, car. go 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 go. Straight. Oh my god, it's like uh, that movie Bottle Rocket. Oh right, uh, yeah. yeah, dude. I was always just like little, the I was the lookout man. I was yeah. just like always the lookout because I did not agree with right. fucking stealing shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Deathly yeah. afraid of getting caught. Like, of course. So wow. I was just always the lookout, like. Yeah. All right, let's do it, you know. Right, let's go. But th those guys would, like, go and, like, rehearse it. Oh, they would? Yeah. Like, a couple nights before, go and, like, time it. Really? Yeah. Like, Man. they were fucking going to go pull do a up, big like, job. Yeah, yeah, like, know exactly what door. You're going to pull in backwards, do do the hatch, ready to go, go in, touch the couch, you know, go whatever. Go back out. Go right. back out, 
Da, na, na, na. We would like it's like Ocean's Eleven, yeah, yeah. fucking guys, gnarly. Yeah. Like, yeah, plan that shit out and then be like Incredible. on a on a Tuesday night, go do it. Well, you know, at the, you know, you got to do what you got to do, I guess, right. right? You need a couch, go fucking to the hotel. Well, some, hey, dude, one, <laughs> right? hey, man, like, I learned, dude. Some people <clears throat> like that shit. No, for sure. Some for sure. people will have money and prefer to, to steal shit. something. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. I've it's heard like that. a thrill. Yeah. You know, whatever. And he just, I didn't know my fucking head from my ass back then. I was just like, this dude likes to steal shit. Right. What the fuck? Like, yeah. he, no, he likes it. He would rather, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, looking back, dude, it's just a crazy ass fucking story. It's so yeah. much comedy, dude. No, like, for sure. For sure. <laughs> then going, going back uh, up to um, San Jose. Right. So what did you do? Yeah. Uh, he said one day you came, he came home, he was pissed and he said, uh, we're out. Let's go to San Jose. Yeah. So Todd was like, dude, going to fuck San Jose. And I was right. like, oh shit. You know, and I was, uh, was in no position to argue. Right. And we go to San Jose, same thing, homeless, like sleeping on floors. Wow. I like, don't know where we're, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to get. It's almost like a step down. Like we just, we were building our life down here. Dude, and now we're going, we're le- starting from scratch. Leaving your apartment, leaving right. your fucking job to yeah. go and like have no apartment, no job, no nothing. Start and it's over. fucking scary. And like yeah. we were, it was just like, we were just fucking homeless. Right. You know? Right. Just living on, living on people's uh, floors and right. random shit. Wow. I lucked out and got a job at the exact same deli that I had worked no at way. in San Diego. Like a different, like it was a chain? It was a new one that hadn't oh, opened yet. Wow. And it was next door to the skate shop. Oh, oh. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And see? It was um, Go Skate. So you obviously you were still skating and then the, the, the shop next door, that was a plus, you know, and then... Uh, we were staying, what? by that time, we were mm-hmm. staying, um, we were staying, all three of us were staying with this kid, Jason, who had his own apartment all to himself. Oh, his perfect. dad paid for his own apartment. Right. Wow. Very small scene in San Jose at the time. Okay. Like 10 skate, 15 skaters. Really? Yeah, dude. Okay. Everybody knew everybody. So it's close knit. Yeah. Yeah. So through that guy, Jason, Jason had grown up skating with this dude, Chris. Okay. And so I met this guy, Chris Avery through Jason, just by going out and skating every single day mm-hmm. when Jason was about to kick us out. Cause Todd had a way of, uh, pissing people off i could imagine yeah you know just got to the point where jason's just like dude you guys gotta fucking go right and it was like oh fuck and we went skating one i went skating with chris just me and him one day and then i told him like dude this is insane like oh. and he goes hey would you want to live with me and my parents <laughs> really yeah wow. and i was like what and he goes dude i asked my mom dad if you could come live with us like would you be down for that and i was just like what <laughs> like yeah. yeah yeah and i was like i was like all three of us like me todd and udama and he goes, no, just you. Right. Wow. And I was like, sure. Mm. I felt weird. Like, oh, I'm ditching those ditching guys. Ditching the crew. Yeah. Right. I was yeah. like, oh, fuck, I'm ditching those guys. And then at the same time, I, I was just like. Fuck it. It was weird. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Right, right, right. Like, I didn't know his parents. Well, plus you were he probably had, over all this bullshit dude, too. I was you at know, that, at that like, point, yeah. I mean, the, the, the track record of this Todd dude already was like, hey, we could fucking go back down to San Diego dude. or like do uh, end up in fucking Oxnard and, or some shit, yeah, you know, dude, or end up in jail. Yeah. Or, yeah. or jail. Yeah. There yeah. was a lot, there was a lot of like, like fuck this. being put into, being put into situations where I could have gone to jail. So you took him up on his offer. I did. Yeah. I was just getting to the point where I'm like, dude, I'm only, so at that time I had just turned 17 okay. and I was like, you know, you're like, fuck man. Like one of these days, I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to go to fucking jail because of this, this right, shit, you right, know, or right, whatever. Yeah, and I was yeah. just like, just the fucking like, whatever the, the like personality stuff. It's like a definite personality type where I think there was some bipolar issues going right, on. Yeah. It sounds, he sounds yeah. a little off balance. Unstable yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 Like the highest of highs, like amazing. And the lowest of lows. Right. So whatever happened to these dudes, are they still around? Like, uh, I mean, the San Jose scene, do they stay with it? Or no, after you moved in, like... Th- like, uh, like uh, I think Udama moved back to North Carolina. Okay. Todd moved to San Francisco for a while. And it's a good thing that, you know, you moved in with your buddy because, uh, you know, you could have ended up back in North NC or back in uh, San Francisco. Or, I will tell you this. I'll tell you this. Yeah. Like, Chris Avery single-handedly saved my life. Right, right, right. Me sitting here, right here. Yeah. It's because of him and his family. Dope. Straight right. up. Yeah. That's why I named I named my son. After. I was going to ask yeah. you. Yeah. I never really put that two and two together yeah. until right now. Yeah. yeah. I named my son after their family name. Wow. Yeah. Because fucking, 
I owe that dude my life. Right, right. <laughs> and you still talk to him and everything. Not not as much because okay. he lives in uh, London. London. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so long his, distance call. Yeah, well, you he, could Skype or FaceTime or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so him and his wife for Wi-Fi. So going back to the San Jose thing, like you know, you move in with the with Chris Avery and you know your skate. He did, he filmed at the time, or he was a skater, he, or like yeah, he was a skater. Okay, who happened to film? He filmed right. Yeah, so that was a weird like the stars aligning. Right. <laughs> did Chris film your uh, sponsor me video to get on Maple? Um, no, there was no sponsor me video to get on Maple. It was just some some uh, footage that Todd and Udama had had right. filmed. Oh. You know, we, we, when we oh. were skating in San Diego. So you got sponsored oh. in San Diego oh. before you even went to... Got sponsored in San Diego. The, the oh, you got sponsored in San Diego. I got sponsored in San Diego. By Maple. Maple. Yeah. With, really? With just some random oh. footage that we I thought you had were, filmed. I thought you, were, you got sponsored in San Jose. No, you no, no. You got sponsored in... So even leaving San Diego with this new sponsor, you must have been like, "Oh God!" This and is they were like, "They were like, oh, you're moving. Like, we, I don't, we don't think we can like really? still deal with you." So that must have been yeah. a bummer too. Dude, I was so scared. Right. I was sponsored. Yeah. But being sponsored back then was like, you got two boards a month, mm -hmm. a T-shirt, set of wheels, right. and that was pretty that was much a couple stickers, it. maybe. Uh, and that... because I lived with two other dudes. You got one board a month, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two and wheels. One one of them was very alpha, right, and very like, very like. That's mine. What's mine is mine, and what yours is mine. Right. Jeez. He was yes. like that, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now was Maple? Did they just start the company down there, or was it? Uh, had they been in business for a while, or whatever? GNS, mm -hmm. like Neil Blender, right. Steve Clare, mm -hmm. GNS. Blaze Blue and with Charlie Watson who did all the wood for them. I'm pretty sure Charlie Watson did the yeah, Watson laminates. Yeah, for oh. their boards were like, remember what their boards looked like? The old GNS ones they had a crazy. They were just like they just look yeah. gnarly. Like yeah. just like Ugh, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard a board never, described yeah. like that. No, they, they were like the old GNS know. boards would hurt your foot because the tail was like, oh, it was 75 like, degrees. Those wow. things Damn. they just yeah. looked like like something that should be hung on a wall. They okay. were just beautiful boards, really? man. Wow. Yeah. So GNS, um, what happened with GNS is Mike Hill and Chris Carter left GNS to move mm -hmm. to Ohio and mm -hmm. start Alien Workshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so right, right. GNS was still around for a little bit. Yeah. And then... Um, Turned to and. They, they dropped the G and the S. Mm -hmm. So it was and, okay. the ampersand. Yeah, that, yeah, the symbol. Yeah, so it was and, and it, it was like... Some it was some of the dudes still on uh, on GNS, mm -hmm. and that didn't work. Right. And they were like, "Fuck it, we have to just completely do something new." They Along came Maple, so it became two dudes left over from And mm -hmm. Paul Smith and Tom Hornung, and then two dudes came over from Planet Earth called oh. the Donger. Yes, oh I've yeah, heard of him. Yes, <laughs> and Jason Carney. Okay, wow. And then me as an as Ams, me and. The Muska. No, no way. way. Really? He the was on Maple. Yeah, I didn't dude. even know that. I never knew that. Yeah. yeah. Was he what? on Rights of Passage? Rights of Passage. Yeah. Rights of Passage. He's yeah. in that. Yeah. Was it the wow. first Maple video? Damn. Yep. I only really? saw Seven Steps to Heaven. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that video is so good, dude. They had Rights of Passage and then a weird trade show promo video, mm -hmm. then Seven Steps to Heaven. But um, Muska has a part in Rites of Passage. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, back then, like, the Muska wasn't the Muska yet. And, you know, they were no. just... Uh, Wouldn't take long for him right. to be yeah. like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, he was probably gnarly back then. I haven't seen the video that I he was I met Chad in Boston before he was the Muska. Okay. Like, right when he got on Toy Machine, whatever, yeah. he was, like, staying at Panama Dan's house. I was like, dude, this guy is fucking nuts. As in his skating is his nuts. Skating is right. nuts. Like, just, like, his energy, dude. Yeah, everything oh, yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Oh, my God. His yeah. energy was crazy. Like, he was almost like... Because me being young and like that dude was just Tasmanian devil. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. <laughs> And yeah. he was just like, you know, like you could tell he, he like found a, th he kind of like found a thing that like turned the light bulb on for him. Right. And he started going for it. And when he did the front, the front side tail slide down the, I think it was a 12 stair rail in uh -huh. downtown San yeah, Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. That was like, oh my god! And I think that was just like he. It's like he did. Uh, he did some rail tricks that were kind of kind of new, like nolly lip slides and yeah, yeah. all right. you know whatever he uh, broke some ground. Yeah, I can relate. You know, it's like uh, you know, 
the switch flip switch manny <laughs> Gra- you know, it's groundbreaking i can't believe that the they're still playing right it's now. still pl- four and a half hours dude we got this yeah. you know look it'd be sick to like get some popcorn and just fucking watch that you know, after, after the show <laughs> yeah. after the show we'll it's put like it on the, the we'll, yule time log whatever yeah, yeah. yeah. dude we'll airplay it to the tv we can all sit around and watch it that's It'd be great yeah, we should make great. a download for all great. our viewers can oh four and a half hour download yeah. for the we'll do it yeah, yeah. download on itunes 99 cents yeah we can charge it yeah if you put it up there with like a certain description just clickbait it. Right. Oh, yeah. Clickbait. What would you do? 99 cents? Yeah, no, 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 a dollar. Dollar, yeah. dollar. dollar 99. A dollar. A dollar. Like, a, like, dude. A dollar for four and a half hours. A TV show. <laughs> switch, <laughs> flip, switch, Manny. A TV Come on. show is two ninety nine. You get like 42 minutes or 42, 44 minutes. Four and a half hours, four and a half bro. Hours, That's yeah. four and a half hours. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's to be like we 30, do it. 40 bucks. It's um, like the Yuletide log, yeah. you know, like yeah. for... for uh, Christmas or whatever. What I said earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just right. put it on your TV. I never listened to Raj, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah put it on your TV. Easter, yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah. Yeah. Christmas. Just put it oh up for God. rent. Yeah. As a joke, okay, it just we'll do it, it doesn't we'll do it. like for doesn't rent. cost yeah. anything to put <laughs> right. something up for rent, right? No, no, I don't think so. Can you do that on? I, oh, maybe you could do it on YouTube. You can. I think on, on YouTube, YouTube you can do oh, rent. Oh, maybe we'll do. Okay, we'll put it up for rent on YouTube for ninety nine cents. Right. We'll see. We might need to. Get rid of the music, though. Are we looking too much into this rental? I mean, let's what, just like, put it up for rent. Yeah, like a nice, right? soothing, like little music, like sound oh, to it. Like what about? So like you wake, like you could like wake like up you're to in it. A spa. Yeah, and you're like spa oh, music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Chris is just like repeating or the ocean. Yeah. Ocean, yeah, ocean exactly. sounds. Yes, exactly. Ocean sounds, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, like that. I like where this is going. Very tranquil. You, know? you, you yeah. can yeah. sleep with it too. You yeah. can put, right. put it to sleep. You know, make a little sound app. Yeah. The waves crash. Switch, yeah. flip, switch, Manny with waves crashing. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. We'll do that ocean sounds oh my god i mean god damn so yeah groundbreaking i i, I get it the musk yeah um so <laughs> how um okay so uh let's 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 roll through this so oh when you got to san jose no maple so you're on maple yeah in san diego and you left and they were like well we don't know we don't know if we oh could yeah do they it. did like, they were like uh no so did, like, how did that happen did you like say hey let's just try i'm gonna go up to san jose and i pretty I mean, much what? thought that you were off. I, I i was off okay and I remember I was having trouble getting bored, so I was just going to the skate shop, going to Go Skate, and buying world boards. Oh wow! Yeah, because that was—I mean—that's what I rode before okay. maple boards. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh fuck it, I guess I'm off." Right. You know. And there, there was a good friend of mine that I met through Chris, another dude named Chris, who was okay. a fucking insane skater. Right. This guy, Chris Story. This one dude of the best was, San, uh, San Jose skaters. Wow. Really. And so, I got a box, and I remember like. I got two boards, mm-hmm. you know, set of wheel, whatever. I got what, and I gave this dude half my package. Oh, Chris Story. Yeah. Oh wow. And I was like, "Fuck! If if I can get, if I can help you get sponsored, I'm going to." Dope. Like he was nuts. He was so good. Yeah. And he was raddest dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. So how come you never helped me get sponsored and stuff? Different. You, know? you are already sponsored. sponsored before you. <laughs> you were before me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay well no that was fucking rad of you though man i yeah, mean it's but friends it was like, helping friends yeah you know? but still like you get like one board every f- three four months <laughs> right right i'm right, buying right. henry sanchez boards i'm buying clyde singleton in the, in boards the, is in between so you're still buying world boards yeah even after you got the maple box yeah and, oh. fi- and filming on those world really? boards and shit too. no like we painting them no, fuck no. Huh, nope. okay just wow. like got a fucking world board because because i don't have a sponsor basically yeah, yeah. right um and then I sent them a tape of footage. Okay. And they were like, what the fuck? No, no way. That was their response. Yeah. Wow. And then I started getting boards. Okay. (laughs) And that's 10 boards in a box. Right. But were they they pissed that you were writing other boards? No, no, I mean because they weren't sending, no, they weren't oh, sending me shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? And they had yeah. a weird thing. They were like, "All of our dudes in San Diego, right? Like, we're not. You're, if you leave, like, we're not fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, some random because I had. You got to send this guy a fucking because I got I got sponsored. I got it was I was just flow. Right. Yeah, okay. I got sponsored with some scrappy ass footage that me and my roommates were filming. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. And that shit wasn't even that good. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> So, but um, they saw something though. They were like, "Fuck yeah, this fucking dude's ripping." One of the dude, some one of the, like the guys, the early team manager, this guy Jack Barnett. I think he was like, "Yeah, Dope. you know." And they yeah. took me to they took me to Vegas uh, for a weekend to film, and I got a bunch of clips in Vegas. Rad. And I think they were like, "Oh shit, okay, cool, we're gonna give this dude boards." Okay, sick. 
So that was your first sponsor, pretty much, Maple, yeah. right? Yep. Wow. And then soon after, did you start filming for like, wait, what video came out first that you were in with Maple? Rites of Passage. Rites of Passage. Okay. And so that was your first video part. Yeah. Wow. And Rites of Passage was uh, a small run. I think it only went to Japan. Oh. Can you find it on YouTube as well? Or yeah, sure now? Can. I mean, right. I think you can find bits of it. I don't know if the yeah. whole thing. And then what happened? And then so then after that, where did you start filming for like uh, Seven Steps to Heaven? Or what was... Uh... Check this out. So get sponsored in, in like January of 94 mm -hmm. or Flow or whatever. Right. Moved to San Jose in a April of 94. And then I think by the end of the summer... They were like, oh, shit. Like, okay, this dude's up there doing it. Wow, okay. And November, they turned me pro. No <laughs> yeah. way. Damn. That quick? Yeah. Oh, I, my I God. Got, I, I was flow to pro <laughs> right. in 11 months. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's I insane. Entered, dude, the first, my first pro contest was like the middle of November of 94. Wow. Damn. I had never been in a magazine. Right. Nobody video. had ever heard of me. We had one little video. The video part. came out after that. Oh, it did. Yeah. Wait. So, how did that make you feel though? Turning pro. I mean, it must have been fucking, fucking rad. shitty. <laughs> no. Come on, dude. Why? Because I was not a good skateboarder. You didn't. You didn't feel like you were. Fuck. They no, didn't even. Dude. Did they ask you to turn pro, or they just kind of turned you? Well, like Tom and Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul did some. I don't. I didn't. I only met Paul once. Paul just faded away, or okay. Paul quit, or something. Right. And Tom quit. Oh. So it was. Jason Carney, Donger, and poof, that's it. Right. So I think they were like, fuck, we need yeah. another pro board. Oh, okay. And then I remember at first being like, dude, I'm not ready to be pro. Like, uh. So then Seven Steps to Heaven, and then That was that like stuff. two years that was later. A, that was a great video, man. That yeah, video was awesome. Great that, video that. part, dude. Sound I mean, you could, watch, you could watch that video part today, yeah. and it's like, you know. Even I, you yeah, know. everything he was wearing at that time, too. Even the, Yeah. The, last, the outfit? Yeah, just the white shirt and the dickies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wore the same fucking clothes yeah. every day for years. <laughs> yeah. I thought that part was years. filmed in one day. Yeah. You know? Dude. The footage that we had to edit down, it was 45 minutes of footage. Bullshit. Jesus. Yeah. 45 minutes? 45 minutes of straight, like, raw tricks. Like, trick, 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 Whoa. trick, 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 wow. trick, trick, trick. Jesus. And going in there and being like, <laughs> <laughs> what? what are we supposed to do? With right. this shit. So you picked out everything and you were like... So we had to like go through 45 minutes of footage. And when you when it's your skating, you're like, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I> like that. <laughs> that's sick. I like that. You know, I like, oh, that. I like the... Uh, like, I, like, that's a gnarly trick. I've like never done that before. Right. Yeah. I right. like that. I, I like, like that. that. So I had these like league, like these yellow lined legal pads oh. of like, watch it and whatever you want, like just write it down. Yeah. yeah. And then write the time. Like time code. The time okay. code. Yeah. yeah. So, dude... It was just like 18 pages. <laughs> 18 pages of shit. And they're just like, This kid's insane. Yeah. They got to like, fucking. Had to just whittle it down, whittle it down. And just throwing tricks away was right. like so hard. Yeah. You're like, Oh, no. Oh, fuck. So a lot of that stuff wasn't even used any. It, Never. You know? they, no they didn't do way. bonus shit in the, back then or nothing, you know? No, they didn't do. There was no bonus at the on well, VHS. You need to release nothing. that. Isn't that the the part where you're like in full, full with cream and shit like yes. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what was what? What were you doing in this yeah. cream? <laughs> yeah, dude, the him. shaving cream thing like was not like a thing that was planned. Like, we're just goofing. We just having to be covered in shaving <laughs> dude, cream. Back, and just like walking back camera. In, yeah. Back in the day, like dude, back in the day when you would have like an ad in a magazine, you'd have your sequence or your video grab. Video grab. Yeah. yeah so it'd be like, you know, frame, 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 and there's got to be something in the background of the page, mm -hmm. either a, a solid color or some other fucking weird shit. Right. And we were about to lay an ad out and Ed was Ed talks like ah oh, fucking MJ what do you want what do you want for the background of this photo buddy and I was like dude Ed, I just was like Ed just fuck, shoot a photo of me I want naked sh covered in shaving cream <laughs> <laughs> right and of course Ed is a pretty straight laced dude he was like uh what <laughs> so the how it is is like because there was gonna be a sequence on the thing yeah you actually wouldn't be able to see exactly what it was right yeah. and it would be kind of maybe uh darkened a little you bit or something you wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to see right. what okay. it was just you like scale it up and, and yeah, you know like yeah, at that yeah, it's just yeah. like you just do shit to do shit right like you're bo you know bored you're just yeah. like oh, yeah. fuck, naked shaving cream. right <laughs> so basically um ed didn't want fucking shaving cream he had carpet in his apartment oh, uh -huh. he was like I don't, fuck that i don't want shaving cream anywhere in this fucking on these uh carpets right and so he was like setting some weird like backdrop up in the bathroom mm -hmm. and so i went to the kitchen to wait until like he was ready to shoot the because i was fucking naked dude <laughs> <laughs> 
I was naked. Uh, and we, dude, we were laughing so hard. It was just so just. Bleh. Right, right. <laughs> like, I was like 19, 18, 19. It's just like. But back, you know, when you're that young, it's you're funny. just like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like yeah. you know. Um, so um, I'm in the kitchen on the linoleum floor <laughs> waiting for Ed to, like, get the whole thing set up. And Chris Avery whips the camera out. Oh. <laughs> and there was nothing I could do. I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. There was nowhere I could Cover. go because yeah. I'm not going to go on the carpet. Oh, right, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, oh, shit. And he had me backed against the wall with a camera. Yeah. So the bathroom the bathroom must have been off of the kitchen. The so bathroom, yeah. Through, the bathroom right. was like to the left of the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he turned that, he pulled that thing out and turned the fucking camera on. And I was just like, oh, you fucking fuck, man. <laughs> right. Let's do this. I, like, I'm doomed. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, like, you, like, you did a little dance. And yeah. Like, like part of it fell off or something like that i was like Dude, what? so i'm just whatever like you know you get so you're just like oh fuck it all right like let's right. get it let's do if we're gonna do this let's do this <laughs> and my junk just starts swinging <laughs> and just pff, shaving cream just bloop. right <laughs> I think it weirded people out. Like, you think so? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't nobody, know. nobody did anything like that right. in videos. Back right, then. right, right, right. When you're just like in the editing process and it's your perspective, your perception of like what happened. Right. To me, it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Like dudes naked and covered in shaving cream. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. <laughs> it's right, right. totally that's memorable. Fu- yeah, that's yeah. weird. Like yeah. that's fucking weird. What's going on with that? But I was there and I knew what happened. But right. and this was around the era of like planet, like planet Earth. Everybody was like fresh and uh, rhythm. Right. Planet Earth, white yeah. shirt, blue jeans. Yeah. But you know what though? That made you stick out a little bit. That oh, made you yeah. fucking uh, you know. Oh, everybody yeah. took notice of it. So then, what from Maple? Like, what did you? Uh, how long were you on Maple for? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yeah. Not that long, you know? I mean, kind of felt, back dude, then, yeah, it, it felt like felt forever. It felt like right. forever. Right. But yeah. then, so you, how did you, you went from like, what did you go from Maple to A-Team? Was that the, was that the yeah. transition? Yeah. yeah. Well, what? I went from Maple to the World Industries Camp. Which was A-Team. Which became A-Team. Oh. So um, how did the Maple, why did you leave Maple and go to, uh, what happened there? I went to a contest in San Diego yeah. in like 90... 96, I think. It was like one of those smaller, like, I don't know what the contest series called. Raj, you might know, like, Monster Mash or something, or these tiny little contests in California. Hmm. But it was a pro contest. I'm in the parking lot of where the contest is, and I'm skating by myself. I'm skating flat ground. And I just look over at some point, and I see Rodney just like... No way. Criddling on me. Really? (laughs) He was just like... (laughs) Just and like I, that, I bet. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I was like, I, I didn't know. I didn't know how long he had been watching me. Okay. And when I looked over and I saw, I saw him like, that's Rodney Mullen. Right. And I saw the look on his face. I was like, oh fuck, he's watching me skate. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he kind of like, you know, cruised up to me and he was like, hey, you know, in his way, he's like, of course. He's like, hey, like, oh, I'm Rodney. Like, it's so nice to meet you. Like, your right. vid- your video part was amazing. Like, uh. Yeah. And we're you know talking or whatever and um. Come right for he wanted, Yeah, he got, got my number, and basically he just said like, "I love your skating, whatever." He's like, "Hey, like, um, if there's any, if there's ever anything like um, I can help you with, just just call me." Sick. Yeah, yeah. Just it was like that. Yeah. And I was like, "All right, cool, cool, cool." Right. So like maybe like a couple months later, I think he called me and he was like, "Something had happened at Blind, okay. and they had some spots open." Right. And um, he was just like, "Hey, like it's there if you want. Okay. You know, if you want like a spot on Blind, it's there." And I was like, I don't know those dudes. Like, you watch them in like Twenty Shot trilogy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've seen them. Right, I know right. they are. I don't know them, and fuck that. Right. Like that. But you were a fan of the. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh hell right. yeah, dude. So, but it was just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm not gonna just go and start skating on a company with people I don't know. Yeah. You know. Right. 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 So I was so I was like, wow, that is a gnarly ass opportunity. Yeah. But I would feel so fucking uncomfortable. Okay. I can't do it. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So the A-Team thing came later mm-hmm. when I think 101, what they decided to di- to stop doing 101, mm-hmm. and they decided to stop doing Prime. Right. And Plan B had left to, to take everything down to San Diego. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Plan B left the world the camp. The umbrella, yeah. So, XYZ or whatever. Yeah. And so Rodney was like, I think, all, you know, they were probably like, well, who, sh- who could we get or whatever? And they, mm-hmm. they were... He hit me up to do that. Okay. He was like, hey, like we're going to start a new brand here. Right. Um, would you want to 
would you want to maybe ride for it? And one of the other dudes that they were um, thinking about getting on was Gershon Mosley, who I'd met yeah. in San Jose. Okay. So, so you I knew kinda, Gershon. Yeah, I kind of right. knew Gershon. Yeah, that's, you know? so that's a bonus. And by know? that time, I had already, I had come down to visit Rodney Mullen just to skate, and I got to know him or whatever. Okay. So by that time, I knew Rodney. Right. I knew Gershon. I didn't know Chet. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was like way more comfortable. And I kept thinking like when it was like, uh, hey, we're going to do this new brand. I kept thinking like old like old world industries ads and graphics. Right. Yeah. That's what I was like. Oh, fuck. Our boards are going to be so sick. Like yeah. the ads are going to be fucking so sick. But it like, kind of yeah. turned out to be nothing like that, right? It went over tech. I think yeah. it, it was... It, I think the direction, it started out a certain way. Mm-hmm. And then it was kind of like... Right. Who was right, the right. art director for A Team? There was no, there wasn't an art director. Yeah. So wait, so when you when you got on A Team, how did you leave Maple? Was it just a, was it hard to do? Or, yeah. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, dude, that was fucked. Really? Yeah. Because I was you... like bros with like. So what? How did you break the news? Did you call him and say, look, I, dude. there was a dude, um, there was a guy named Steve Benson uh-huh. who ran it. Okay. Um, at at Watson Laminates, he um he ran the thing. Ed was a team manager, and Ed was like. My buddy, right? It was nothing against those dudes or Maple or nothing. It was, I didn't have a problem with that, right, right, right. But it was one of those things. Where it was like, holy fuck, man, this is an opportunity to, to start something new, right? At World Industries, which was in the on heyday, yeah. yeah, like it was oh my god, the companies, yeah, yeah. The so, boards were also like so far ahead of everyone else at the time. Mm. So, yeah. you, so what did you call Ed Dominic? And say, I had to call Ed and Steve separately, oh, wow. and. Were they devastated? Yeah, I mean, they understood, but yeah. fuck, they were bummed. Right, I could imagine. But you're starting this new thing, and it's exciting, and you got Gershon and all these dudes. I mean, it's a, it was a rad team, you know? I thought it was a rad team. Very, Gershon was it, sick. I Ger- loved Gershon. Fuck, fuck Very you know. like Dave Mayhew? Dave yeah. Mayhew. Mayhew came on, yeah. I think, a year later. Okay, wow. From Maple. Right. Um, Damn. Which How, made me feel way more comfortable. Did it really? Yeah, because I yeah. was tight bros with Oh, yeah, Dave, yeah. 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 Didn't they kind of like use that like, you know, green and yellow gr- for their graphics night, and stuff? The, like, night there was a very yeah. like military night Well, they even had that, the, the, the video like uh, with the uh, watching you yeah. song. That was, that, I the, did that. You did that. Okay. Yeah. Like right. all the little cameras popping yeah. out of real crazy yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, surveillance. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Going and filming that little intro thing with all the cameras popping out of shit. Yeah. Which was very tilt moldy. Was was the Till yeah. Mode crew filmed it? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Jesse, oh, wow. er- Jesse Erickson helped us. Mm-hmm. Matt Eversall. Right. Helped, yeah. Chris so, Avery. What, were you already doing Tilt Mode stuff uh, at that time when you were doing A Team? No. Or no. Did that, that came later. A Team started in '97, and Tilt Mode started in '99. When Enjoy kind of came around. Enjoy came out of Tilt Mode um, in in uh, April of 2000. But um. Tilt Mode and that whole crew, that whole it, it came from um, a bunch of us lived in this house together, right, right, called the Tantau. And Tilt Tilt Mode is uh, a phrase for like you're you know like when you're younger, Pinball. like um, getting fucked up, right? You yeah. know, just yeah. uh, every we're going to the bar, we're going drinking, we're gonna set this shit on Tilt Mode, Tilt Mode. <laughs> yeah. But but I mean, it, it became a whole thing with their videos and all that stuff, you know. I I was always yeah. surprised that it never actually became a company, dude. You I know was what just I mean? Talking like, about yeah. this with somebody, it's really weird. Yeah, just the fucking talent in that right. squad. Yeah. yeah, it could have easily been an apparel brand. Oh my god, a fucking board brand. Saying. It was so dude, fucking weird easily. that it just never fucking came around to Are that. I don't think anybody wanted to be that dude who took it. Okay. And turned it into a company. Yeah, I could see that. Where where everybody starts looking at them as like, oh, like you're taking our shit and like. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I think right. he felt it's a little weird. weird about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. For He's sure. like, all right, dude, I'm gonna take all this shit and all your bros and all our footage and I'm gonna make a fucking company out of it and make a bunch of money and. But at the same time, though, it God, it would have been a fucking great company, you know? Yeah. Dude, Jesus I swear, Christ. I swear, like, in so there was enjoy. Yeah. And I think I wish there would have been a little buddy sister right, brand yeah, right. in San Jose well, of Tilt Mode. Well, when did the Enjoy thing come into play? Was that a, another... The A-Team really didn't work out, did it? It, it, it seemed like it kind of came and went pretty quickly and I, it just wasn't really... Nobody, like, really ever... Got it? Got into it too yeah, much. Yeah, right. 
Like, not even the customers. Well, I was a fan, but I thought it was a little. Uh, it wasn't really, you it know. Was, it, it, yeah. It, to me, it wasn't a world company. No. You know, it wasn't like a one hundred and one or a blind or. It, it was, was just this weird off. It was this. It just was this weird company. It you was know? pretty strange. I mean, the yeah. riders were sick and everything, but just the whole dynamic or whatever the the branding. It of came it, off like like all right, Plan B left us like let's do something better. Exactly, and that's oh, what it was. Yeah. yeah, and that's why it was right. called A Team. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. It didn't really, you know, you. You're doing it and you're like, oh, this is awesome. Like, I'm at World, mm-hmm. you know? So, didn't, but you're just like, oh. You want to be psyched in the graphics. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And I, for you sure. know, like, it's one of those things that's nit, kind of nitpicky, but at the same time, it's kind of important. Right. Yeah, you totally. know? But, um, so it didn't really ever get like that with me. And so I guess Chet and Gershon separately called Rodney to quit. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like, the same week. Really? Like, he, Rodney got a call from Chet. He got a call from Gershon. Those dudes didn't even talk about it or whatever. Oh. They just at the same time. Same time. And, and they didn't even talk to you but about did, it either. Did they no? have like a backup no. plan? I mean, like Chet obviously was Chet's backup. kind of an employee of the brand yeah. at the time anyway. I think Chet was just like, I'm over it. I want to do Dark Star boards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then right. Gershon's like, I'm over it. Like, I want to skate for blind. Right. And then um, I called him and I was like, I was like, oh, dude, it's just kind of. But I called him with, hey, like. I have an idea for something new. Oh, okay. Like, but not expecting him to even ex- like be no. okay with it. Right. Yeah. But I called him to quit. Okay. Basically. Right. And not having a plan. But you whatever. wanted to like propose something. And I called him to, to quit. Them. Yeah. And I had a proposal. Mm-hmm. And he could have easily been like, "Yeah, we're not interested in that right now. We, right. We're already doing this brand, so bye bye." Yeah. Right. 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 But he was actually, you know, because Chet and Gershon had separately quit that week, mm-hmm. he was like, "Well." Uh, Maybe this isn't working out. Yeah, he's like, well, those dudes are out, and right. you're out, so right. we might as well do something new. Yeah, yeah. and that's how Enjoy started. Okay, yeah. cool. And did you uh, did you come up with a name and all that stuff, or was yep. that kind of yeah? And, was and it originally going to be called Love? It was originally going to be called Love. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Why why couldn't you do that? Um, trademarking or something? Yeah, there was a company called Love Jeans. Oh yeah. Um, who had the trademark for apparel? Right. So we'd never be able to make any soft goods. Yeah. And you cannot, for some odd reason, you can't trademark the actual word love. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. It's a really weird, oh, that's what they told me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and I had I had this rad ad campaign already like, huh. s- almost like storyboarded out for each dude. Right. Like trick, caption, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I had- Enjoy's a great name though. I mean- I had dudes in, yeah. mind, I had dudes in mind that um, didn't, that didn't work out. What was your original team? What do you mean? On Enjoy? On Enjoy, yeah. Who did you originally want to be part of Enjoy? Uh, so Chet and Gershon did their own thing. Mm-hmm. So it would be uh, me, and, me and Mayhew and Rodney mm-hmm. from A-Team. Right. And I Which wanted happened? I wanted Kenny Anderson. Okay. And Paul Sharp. Yep. Um, and that was, at, that was it at that time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. You know. And at this time, had you already met Louie and Jerry and all that? Were you already friends with the, them, too? Oh, uh, yeah, and, dude. Yeah, Hell yeah. Right. From like you all got them the... on Maple, though, right? Oh, that's right. I got Jerry sort of introduced yeah. to those dudes. Mm-hmm. Um, it took a little bit. I got him introduced to those dudes, and then Jerry just kind of took it, ran yeah. with it. Okay. So they were already on Maple. So how did you... Did you get him on Enjoy? After Enjoy started, okay. uh, Louie hit me up. Oh, um, oh. I think Enjoy had, would, had been around for six months. Okay. And we just put ads out. Yeah. Um, some boards or whatever. And right. Louie had talked to Jerry like on, off to the side and been like, hey, I'm going to hit Mark up. Like, would you want to do like a, a little package deal? Right. And uh, Jerry, I guess Jerry was down. So Louie hit me up and was like, hey, like, would you be down if me and me and Lou, I mean, me and uh, Jerry. Right. Came on. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're goddamn right. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's get it. Right. Yeah, dude. I was yeah. like, say no more. You're on right now. Sick. Yeah. Wow. And that was so weird. you were in control. That was crazy because I had taken Mayhew from Maple, right? But I didn't take him. He, you know, he left his own. It was always open to him. Yeah, okay. You know, right. so right. Mayhew left Maple to go to A Team, right? And then we did enjoy. And then Jerry and then and Jerry, Louis. Louis and Jerry, wow, from Maple, right? To go to enjoy, right? So it was just like one of those things. It's like I never stole anybody. But it was always open. But at the same time, I mean, but that must dude, have been weighing on your on your mind too. Like Jesus Christ, I, I left this company like, and then I'm bringing these God, people and just I'm felt, just fucking these guys. And all these dudes are like my homies. Right. And it's just like fuck. Like they want to be 
with us. You know, they want to be with us. Naturally. Because you're skating with them anyways. Right. Yeah, because I skate with them all the time anyways. Totally. So they want to be on this thing. And then meanwhile, like, really good, gnarly skaters are leaving the same company. Right. Year after year after year. Yeah. Right. So it's just, fuck. I'm sure, I'm sure those guys fucking probably were really pissed at me for a long time. Right, right, right. Wow. But I didn't steal anybody. Yeah, I yeah. did not steal anybody. Mark. So what would uh, so the enjoy thing? What would I, like you just? Uh, um, I had. Is it too much? So or? I started having like basically like toward the end because I didn't really drink in the beginning of okay. enjoy, and then through like going to San Jose a lot and how long and that, traveling. How long were you uh, were doing enjoy before you left? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Oh, okay. It seemed longer than that. Yeah. But uh, so yeah. um, when I would go to San Jose, it's like I would do two months. In Huntington, mm-hmm. and just work, 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 right. not touch a drop of alcohol. Right. And then I'd go to San Jose for a month, and I was like, okay, I can catch up on skating. I can bro down with the dudes. Yep. We can get all our shit. We can shoot photos, get all of our media stuff and all our stuff, and just have fun. Right. And then go back to do two months because mm-hmm. it's three months is a season. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'd be like, two months, one month, two months, one month. Um, so that was like the schedule or whatever. And mm-hmm. then that month, why during, didn't you live in San Jose? Well, you just were like you you were in Huntington. Like, why weren't you I, up? I moved to Huntington because you know I was about to have a kid, right, and I was right. like, living in San Jose when your kid lives in Huntington is kind of weird. It's good, yeah, yeah, it's weird, kind of right. weird. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I gotta. I just felt like the obligation. Of like, I have to go down there. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you were on your little schedule: two months, one month, two yeah. months, one month. Right. And everything was cool. Yeah. But I guess like I think what started happening is like uh, during that month of going to San Jose and skating a lot. I started drinking a lot. Okay, right. You know, I didn't know much uh, back then. Both my parents um, were alcoholics. Okay. Okay. But I didn't know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Till later, maybe. Till way later. Okay, wow. So I didn't know that I have... They hit it well? Dude, I have that allergy, that fucking... Alcoholism is an allergy, technically. So it's kind of in the genes. I think everyone has it. I don't have it. It's a genetic thing. Some people don't. If you start drinking, you guys start drinking. I don't know. I'm addicted to my lacrosse. It's all like all fun and games or whatever, and you're right. you're you know you're like drinking on a Tuesday night, yeah. skating Wednesday, drinking on a Wednesday night, skating, and I would do that like days in a row, right. and then like not think about it, and there'd be like a day when I wouldn't drink, mm-hmm. and I would just feel fucking crazy. Really? Right. Yeah, like heart palpitations. Ooh. Like, oh man, dude, I would feel crazy, and I but I didn't know what was going on. Right. So basically, like I started drinking more and more, and right, you know, right, more and more right. and more. And getting these like really weird like anxiety attacks okay. and whatever. There's nothing like the anxiety that you get after drinking for seven days straight. Oh, and then stopping. I bet. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> blackouts, dude. Blackouts. Right. Like, just fuck. You like wake up somewhere weird and just be like, wait, did I do something bad? Like, yeah. you fear, like paranoia. Right. Yeah. Wow. You know? And yeah. you just be like, fuck, man. Like, that was fucking up. Like, the way that I was looking at everything I was doing. Okay. Because alcohol, yeah. alcohol is a depressant. Right. You know, when you drink a lot, you're looking at everything negatively. Right. I'm pretty right. happy. Yeah, that's not fucking six, you know, mm-hmm. six bottles of wine or, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus you got a lot of stuff going on. Like some of these other guys are just in San Jose. Just yeah. Just doing their thing but you yeah. have a kid you have a business to run you have all these like obligations and, and I, stuff yeah, so and like I mean, always i, I, I started see. i started looking at every you can see some of the later ads before mm-hmm. i left like right. there's one of like a dude i think it was when kennedy was assassinated uh-huh. life magazine ran a um photo of a a serviceman playing an accordion yeah huh. and he's okay. crying i think okay. it's kennedy's, kennedy's funeral or whatever oh wow okay and i remember seeing that image and just being like like the look on his face and like how fucking like just Emotion. devastated right. he was. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. This dude is like, he's a fucking soldier and yeah. he's playing the accordion and crying. And I was just like, fucking skateboarding's gnarly. You know, like it's all going down the fucking toilet, right. fucking the internet. And like it always <laughs> has been, you know, but I started looking at everything like from a negative in, in a negative way because of just like all the stuff that was going around. Mm-hmm. And then I, and then there was a couple of instances where, I caught some dudes just being like, like really fucking lazy, you know, right. and it didn't make any, I was like kind of pissed um, because you were working so hard. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and people become lazy when they don't give a care anymore. When you're paying someone and you're like, Hey dude, like let's go, you know, let, let's go film. It's Saturday afternoon. And they're like, Oh no, nah, dude, I'm going to watch the princess bride or whatever. Right. Yeah. 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 And you're right. like, you got that motherfucking thing on DVD. You can watch that anytime. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's right. Saturday. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, I pay you. Yeah. 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 Get your <laughs> ass over here right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Stuff like that was starting to happen where I was just like, dude, man. Like, you don't want to look at your friends like that either. Ex- no. Right? <laughs> you know? Where I'd just be like, you f- yeah. I'd, there'd be times I'd be like, man, motherfuckers, man. Like, they have it so good and they don't even know. You just might have come in a bad Bad I think day. it was because it would be when I was in town, yeah. right? Right. You know, right. but when I yeah. came to town, there's sometimes people are just like not motivated. Yeah. And you've been cooped up for two months doing all this other shit, so you're fucking just like, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Ready you're like go. you've been wound up. Yep. You're just ready to fucking get yeah. let yeah. go. Yeah. And you're coming in town. And these guys, this, they're just living their lives. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I, I, I like looked at it like, oh fuck, like these dudes just don't care. Yeah. Right. You know, not all the time, but there yeah. was a couple times I'm like, these fucking dudes don't care. Yeah. And so I was looking at I started looking at everything like in a negative way mm-hmm. and the you know the booze and like the fucking the the being a parent and being a, a young skater still wanted to party and those the moral the tug of war the moral yeah. tug of war dude right. my reactions to things started to be really negative mm-hmm. because of all that stuff and the and the moral tug of war sounds like you just wanted out no, dude. It was no? like I don't. I didn't. I didn't know what I wanted. Okay, but 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 maybe quitting enjoy would free you it from everything. It would. Like, yeah, it was a solution that's to what, free you. That's what uh, the general from... man. The general manager actually su- suggested just a vacation. Oh, well. he was like, why don't you just take some time off? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was like, I don't know, dude. Like, uh. anyways, I had an episode of delirium tremens yeah. um, at a car wash because. I'd woken up and I think I was still a little boozy mm-hmm. and I was doing my thing and I went, I think I probably actually drank coffee too, which is not always a good idea. No? Okay. No. Yeah. So later in the day I went to go get my car wash and I was just feeling fucking weird. Okay. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like tweezing, dude, I'm just fucking shaking. Right. You know? And you're like, you just, you're like, fuck man. Like, Ugh. and I started hearing fucking, I basically, I started hearing things that I was afraid of. Uh huh. Right. You know, I didn't have visual. I've had visual hallucinations before yeah. from from drinking. Yeah. From coming off of booze. Right. This was audio, and that's happened to me a number of times, and it's what? fucking scary. The first time it happens to you, oh my god! And you don't know what it is. You don't know that's from drinking. Oh Jesus Christ! Fuck, scary. So you're I just was, like hearing shit. You're just like, that's it. I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, god! They're gonna lock me up. I'm fucking losing it. But you're sitting there, and you're like. You're like, where is this coming from? Right, like, why? Yeah. And it was like me talking to myself. Weird. And I was just right. like, and I got so fucking scared. Wow. And I didn't know what to do. And I just fucking like, um, because I think when you have DTs, like you should go to the hospital. Oh. But I didn't know. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, right. I just knew that I was super anxiety and I like, boy, a, a, you know, a drink really sounds good right now. Oh. Uh, Calm yeah. me down. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Solution. So one of the things... One of the things that I was saying to myself at the car wash was I was saying, um, you got to, you need to get out of this. Right. Like you got to quit your job. You need to get wow. the fuck out of this. Uh-huh. Like something bad is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Something bad is going to happen. If you continue this two months off, two months, par- um, one month partying, like right. partying for 30 days straight, right? like you're going to, do- and I just had all these like weird, like you're going to do something really fucking bad. Right. Like something bad's going to happen. Yeah. And I, and I was just like, I got so fucking scared. I was like, and it was just like, you have to quit, dude. You have to quit. Mm-hmm. You fucking have to quit. Right. But you Something quit your bad. job instead of quitting Alcohol. drinking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, still didn't know. I didn't know until I went to the doctor because my heart was beating irregularly. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, they gave me, and I was like sweating and shit. And they gave me um, like Xanax or Ativan yeah. or whatever. So when you decided to leave, I mean, everybody there must have been devastated. They must have been like, Jesus Christ, Mark, I think, Mark's I mean, fucking leaving. Like, I this think is... dudes were just like, thanks, fucker. Thanks, really? asshole. No. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I felt, I mean, I'm sure I felt bad, but dude, I'm telling you, man, like you, I got you, freaked out. I was like, if I, if I keep doing what this, if I keep doing what this is, right. Something bad's going to happen. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get into some serious shit. Right. I'm going to get drunk, do some fucked up shit. Something bad's going to happen. Right. So did you tell, like, Louie and all the dudes, like, hey, man, this is what I got to do. And this well, is, like. Well, right around. What's, you got re- to realize what I'm going through right now. I didn't you know? tell anybody. Really? Damn. Nope. Wait, so the whole time you were on, like, Enjoy, were you on uh, Et- Etnies? I was on America then. I was on Etnies, like, in 95. Okay. I think. Okay. And then America in 96. Right. Because you had that great shoe with the M. Oh yeah, 
With yeah, the, with, that, shoe that was awesome, awesome, dude. Fucking, they sold a lot of those. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah. They sold a fuck ton of those. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was a great shoe. There's always one shoe that comes around. That was the shoe yeah. that came around. It was like everybody fucking had those shoes. And what's know? crazy about that, the same thing about turning pro. Yeah. Um, when they uh, when Maple offered to turn me pro um, the first time, mm -hmm. I said no. Oh, really? Yeah. You're not the first person. I was like, like there's I, no fucking way. You're not throwing me out there with the Lions. Yeah. Right. Like, these motherfuckers are good skaters. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I've been skating for four fucking years. Like, I'm not ready to be pro. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Anyway, so when America offered me a shoe, it was like me, Costin, Jamie Thomas, Muska. Right. And I was like, I don't fucking deserve a shoe. Oh, Kareem Campbell had Kareem, a shoe. Right, Steve Cavallaro. Right. Like oh, Solomon. the people just yeah. in the general world. Just in the yeah. general. Yeah. Like the yeah. dudes that got shoes. Yeah. Danny Way had a shoe. Yeah. Right. He deserved a shoe. Right, yeah. right. Like, well, back then, shoes were very, you know, like you said, not that many people had them. Not very many people. So, yeah. so when they offered me one, I, think you I said no. I think you deserve it. I think, it, though, I, you know, yes, you were I, think the, you, I think, yeah. Well, I think you were up there with those guys. Bro. I can't see myself. I, on the I know. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I believe so. Well, too. when they they offered me a shoe yeah. uh, at first, and I was like, no. Nah, really? I'm not. Yeah. I was like, I don't fucking deserve did a you, shoe. Did you design the M shoe? Did you? Uh, I, I still have the drawing. I yeah. drew it with a, I drew it with a, one of those, um, Mechanical pencils, yeah, right, and an electric racer, uh, electric uh, eraser. Okay, the really gnarly technical ones that um, you push the button and it spins. Really, so you can just get super tech with the eraser. Get like detail oh. with the eraser. Yeah, yeah. and never, then never seen one. Of and those. then yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. the whiteout with the sponge. Okay, so you could do like super gnarly whiteout. Wow. So I drew that shoe with rulers french curves oh damn yeah. you had the whole still kit. have i still have the drawings really wow. Yeah. wow do you have original pairs i of, do yeah oh, oh dope dope yeah. dope and i have a bronzed one they made sick yeah That's they made wow. they made bronzed ones i need for to dudes. get bronzed hamilton yeah. <laughs> yeah. the bronzed one was um 98 or 99 mm -hmm. it was just like a fun thing they yeah. they dipped they dipped like everybody who had a shoe they dipped right. a shoe i think yeah. it was a christmas present you have had how many video parts have you had 18 or 19 19, 19 <laughs> video parts this guy that's crazy bro and then you there's know? all, and the all little, of them like three minutes plus then, yeah then there's all the little like um tour videos and stuff like that you know there's like tour videos there's like random commercials probably out dude. there like but i mean like but, video, but, video parts take the like, the, the they, biggest toll out of yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally like, that's something you want to like put your put your all put your, your effort in. Oh, yeah. yeah it started filming in december of 93 right when Todd got the camera. Okay, yeah, Todd. <laughs> From a thrift store. We're not going to talk about how he so got it. December of 93, <laughs> and I didn't stop until December of 2012. How do you feel now about, like, video parts and the internet and Instagram? And, I mean, how do you, I mean, being a guy with 19 video parts under his belt, like, how do you feel where, where the direction it's going? Like, some people are like... Oh, video parts are dead and this and that or you know, it's like I feel what do you uh I feel like people in general out there are just doing their thing. Okay. They're doing right. their thing. Yep. But there's no collective concern okay. for the well being of skateboarding as a whole. Mm -hmm. And I called it out in two thousand nine. Yeah. When Transworld um when the Transworld website started putting videos up like daily oh yeah because okay. i remember it was a cool thing to like on crail tap there'd be a video yeah you're right. like you know like a chunk of chocolate yeah yeah you know something cool to, little yeah. top five or whatever yeah. top five right. but there weren't fucking four of them a day that's true you yeah. know right so there were there weren't as many and you'd be like sick like did you see there's yeah. a video it's up like yeah. 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 yeah right right so these websites started putting content up a lot, lo a lot of content, like very frequently. Yeah, right. It's three things a day. Yeah. Um, so I remember looking at that and being like, well, the nature of skateboarding is copy the next dude. Right. Yeah. Like that's what people do. Yeah. Not everyone. Yeah. Right. But the people that are really unoriginal and don't have fucking their own fucking shit, you know, their own ideas, all these look around like, What's doing good? Let's copy it. What's do? What's selling? Right. Yeah. We'll just do something like that. <laughs> yeah. How many hits are they getting? We'll just do something like that. Yeah. But right. everybody always does this. We need this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we need that. But we're going to do twice as much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That goes for everything like, in skateboarding. He put, they put four videos up a week. We're going to put five. 
right, we're gonna right. put eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I remember seeing Janowski just telling we need a Janowski in our line. Yeah, right. in 2009, when I moved to Marina del Rey, yeah. and I got a computer, and I was like, I started like really getting on the internet. Yeah, and I hadn't really done that. Uh, prior to that okay so i was like dude in my apartment like sober yeah like i have right. no idea what the fuck i'm doing with my life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like looking googling photos of kenny anderson to put to photoshop his face on like a bodybuilder chick. And, then you, and, then you, yeah, and then you send it to me and yeah. i laugh and then uh i think you would eventually send it to kenny and so i started like, like doing guys. all this i started like looking at all the websites that i never looked at like the you know skate websites and right. i was like what's going on in skating because i was yeah. so fucking out of it prior to that for like years mm -hmm. so i was like cool what's going on it's like Blind Sunday fun days and, yeah. blah, 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 and the and, whole thing, yeah. You know, in sixty seconds with Jimmy and, da, da, da. <laughs> and I remember just going, God damn, there's fucking dude. There's a lot of fucking videos coming like, out. I don't even have enough time. There's to a lot of see yeah, all this there's shit. a lot of bullshit. Yeah. yeah, it's like a lot of videos in like great brands, great skating, whatever. But there was a lot of it coming out. Right. And I remember 2009. It was like late 2009. I remember going, Oh fuck, this is bad. I remember going, yeah. This is bad. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's not bad what they were doing. It was bad what everybody else was going to do because what everybody else was going to do yep. is what everybody else was going to look at and do. Yeah. Like, um, the barracks right now is. Dude, it's fucking right. horrible. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> and you know what fucking pisses me off is that, so I, Wes Kramer came out with a video called Nasty, uh, Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Crusty, okay. Crusty by Nature. Crusty yeah, by Nature. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, that fucking video is so sick. Yeah. 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 It came out on. It came out at midnight. It was um, posted on midnight or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I got home later, or whatever, and I knew it was coming out. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! It's two thirty a.m." Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was already off the front page. No. Yeah. yeah. And it was buried under two two things. Yeah. Really? Not one, two. Damn. It was wow. only up for like an yeah. hour or two, and then yeah. it got fucking. So it's like this, like. You just see like a thing, yeah, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. They bring it goes down and yeah. down. When I worked at skateboarder, right, right. I used to complain about that all the time. Yeah. It was like I'm like, we're we're doing our own like original content, whatever, and then like we we're just posting everything that was coming out. And I'm like, dude, we need to like put our shit up on top or something like. Because our shit's getting buried by yeah. all the other bullshit we're throwing on top of it. Need to feature certain and it's, things, yeah. right? It's buried yeah. like I, they do now. I think yeah. they feature it. They do I, now, dude, yeah, right. for sure. If somebody, if somebody, because I know what goes into making a video of part. Of course. To have that shit just go straight to the internet it's and horror, just get yeah. fucking buried. piled on with like, you know, d f Billy's new car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like your video part. And then it's been up there for an hour, and they're like, "Shit, man, we need more content. Like, yeah. check out Billy's new whip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what took your video part out. Yeah. Right, right. And, you're, and dude, it's true. Like, filming video parts is like what we do. It like what you love will kill you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. right. Um, the thoughts that I've thought, the shit that's gone through this fucking yeah. cabeza. Yeah, <laughs> during it's, video it's, parts, it's loco. bad. You've had what, nineteen video parts, you said, but. There are like three songs. Uh, yeah. One, of them, yeah, right. one was three songs. Okay, well, other, yeah. there's many the rest other are all probably two. two yeah. yeah. And like, one with an intermission. <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all Christ. like, all of them are like three minutes, I think. Yeah. Except for like the for, the maple one and yeah. the look. It's fucking one, hard to do, though, bro. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you know? Nothing in this world is free, man. You want some shit? You fucking, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. You I know, know what I mean? And you're going to pay for it in. All kinds of ways, right? But That's thank it. you for doing that, you bro. I just you got... inspired so many, so many of us out there, skaters that like are so stoked on that, man. Oh, thank fuck. you so yeah. much. Man. Yeah, I know. Like, what's crazy is like all the footage that's left over that like I have no idea where it is. Oh, please find Dude, that. I yeah. have no idea where it is. <laughs> so when you had like three songs and like fully flared, were you like, <laughs> what, what, what were you? Follow. Yeah, what were your thoughts? Like, were you like, this is just crazy, or were you like, I mean, I just know. felt like it, it like it's. For what, for what the video, how the video flows or whatever. Right. Like, I just felt like so out of place. Really? Yeah. Really? Dude, it was I, so good, though, dude. man. It was so good. I just felt like odd. It was so disproportionate to the rest of the. Was it because it was like so much of you and less of everyone else? You know, there's like this much of this guy, this much of this dude, this much of this dude, this much of this dude, and this much of me. Right. It, right. It just seemed. 
But at the same time, like but you put you that's all yeah, you, you put, put in the, the work. Yeah. The work. You put in all the work. Yeah. And there's you know? a, there's a lot that didn't, you know, go into that. There's a right. ton of footage right. that didn't right. go into that's that. That's crazy, right. man. Um but it did feel a little like like just lopsided. But I thought it was cool because I thought it was almost like three parts in one, you know, because like my favorite of that part, I mean, the whole part was rad, but my favorite was the last song. Uh, the She Wants Revenge song. Because it's kind of broken. There are, there I, are like... Th- they're yeah. broken up, you know? Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. God, I love that song, the She Wants Revenge song. Mm-hmm. And I just liked that. To me, I was like, I would watch that part mm-hmm. over and over again, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, it was fucking... I don't know. So I think everybody kind of took away what, like, their favorite part was. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? Like, I liked his second section. Yeah. Like, I liked his first section. The first one you know? is cool. That song is awesome. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, my favorite. Yeah. Like, I was like, the one I, I vibed with, like, it was a great part, but the one I was like, dude, this is so... The song and the fucking thing, it was great, you yeah. know? Did but you I've, le- I've just to kind of finish that off, like... Yeah. I've learned over the years that my opinion um, isn't is mostly not like uh, I'm wrong a lot is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well, like I'll have an opinion about something and I and I'll whatever and it's because I'm looking at it a certain way and like like Ty was looking at it a different way, right? Mm-hmm. And he knew way before I did. I actually I watched I watched fully I didn't watch fully flared after 2007 I, I never watched it again until mm-hmm. 2015 I think it was 2000 no it was right around the time Prince died oh wow, oh, wow. so 2016 and I remember I watched uh, I watched fully flared again and it made so much more sense to me hmm. you know and I texted Ty I'm like dude I just watched fully flared like holy shit I didn't get it really I did not get it when it came out mm-hmm. weird yeah. How is that now? I mean, it's dude. I don't know because Ty, like, I didn't. I just didn't get it. And I, I, it's so different now. It, yeah. It like, the whole. It's a different video in right. my brain now. Weird. It works yeah. in a different way. And I had. To, I went out of my way and texted him. Right. Right. Like, right. oh my god, dude, this video is fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. Years yeah. later. Yeah. I <laughs> probably got that. It was like laughing like this. Fucking. Yeah. Dude, because, this is amazing. And, but yeah. that's just one example. Is over the years, yeah. I've learned that I'm wrong. A lot. The video was amazing, dude. Yeah. And then the, the the explosions in the uh, in the beginning, you know, uh, fuck, man, that's a uh, it's an early production to be a part of. Yeah, you know what I mean, like that shit. I didn't answer. I didn't answer a question you asked me. Oh, what did, what did, what did I ask? You? How do you feel about people's video parts now? Oh, I thought we went through that. I, like I think twenty I, minutes ago. No? I I did a tangent. Oh, okay. I did a tangent. Yeah. Basically, like the way that I feel about all that stuff now is like, like I said before, n- um, knowing what goes into a video part. Right. And then knowing how hard people work on videos Mm -hmm. and see it go straight to the internet and forgotten about in five fucking minutes or five days. Yeah. You work for two years on a video part and because people are just shitting out content, shitting out content in your face 24 hours a day, that two years you spent your life, it's just forgotten about. I mean, it's, it's sad. You know, yeah, it's, it's I get very bummed. sad, you know, I, dude, I get, I get bummed. Like I'll, I appreciate that shit. I appreciate it so much. Like I know, like, like I said, I know it goes into a fucking video part. So somebody, you know, three, four minutes. I mean, dude, you know how long it takes to get four minutes of footage? Yeah. Like, yeah. Somebody, gnarly. somebody offers four and a half, four minutes of footage or whatever. Their video part is only like one of 16 things that website's going to post that day. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. If, if you went into like, if you approached Thrash or whatever and be like, all right, we have this video part, whatever, um, or like Mark's going to be doing a video part, they would be like, all right, we're going to do a editorial piece and give you an interview or like something. They would keep it on the, their site a lot longer hmm. if you worked with them other than just like throwing it out there. Yeah, you like know? if you had like some footage laying around and... Yeah. You want to just yeah. Yeah, yeah. dump it. Because like they're just constantly used to just people just throwing shit at them. They're like, all right, just throw on the feed. Throw on the feed. That's what it is but, now. But it's it, a feed. Yeah. It's but, a feed. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. It's a fucking fire hose of just like content coming at you. And the fucking problem is, is when this, this would happen with anything. When you've seen so much of something for so numb. long... You stop caring. It stop. It's not yeah. special anymore. That's what happened yeah. to four hundred and one. Yeah. Right. And the and the problem the problem is is there's so much horseshit, mediocre, unnecessary stuff mm-hmm. in our faces day in and day out because some of these outlets just, you know, they imagine that they need 
to put more shit out. They don't. Yeah. Less no. is more. Right. Quality over quantity. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the, nowadays it's like the views. How many views are we getting? Oh, we need yeah. to put out a new and thing no. for the views. And, and the, uh, nobody cares can about the effect. Like 25 fucking segments? Nobody right, cares yeah. about the effect that that's going to have on skateboarding as a whole. Right and skateboard companies. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's already no, it's already they, affected skateboard companies. It's yeah. fucking ruined everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nothing special anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You've got like you you've got like a video part that comes out that is a really fucking special thing. Yeah, in a sea of shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In and a sea of unnecessary. You did not need to do that. Yeah. You did not need to put that online. Go put it somewhere else. Yeah. Where else are they going to put it? I don't. Fu- Instagram. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Put that's, it on your fucking Instagram. That, that's Put that's it a, on your Instagram that's, that's, where it's going to be fucking forgotten. That's another yeah. yeah. That's another yeah. sea of shit though. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like like <laughs> like 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 two like, years like. of your life. Right. Yeah. But gone later. Well, you know yeah. what's crazy too is like yeah. I always yeah. believe that like it's about building your own audience. And so I've been a fan of all whatever, I've been a fan of Mark for so long that like I still go in and look at all your old videos all the time when you come up with new things, I'll look at it, but like the shit's thrown at me every day. I don't look at it for other. Yeah, people. Yeah, but how how often are you looking for those those like like parts that came out online? You know what I mean? Like, there's only a few. Dude, there's like a there's like sixteen things put posted there, a day. You can't even find them. Yeah, you yeah. can't find like, them. Yeah. There, right. There's only a small handful. You're like, all right, I need to go find Dylan Reader's fucking Gravis part, which yeah. went online. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it was a DVD too, but mm-hmm. like it was like there's like even like the West Kramer fucking Crusty by Nature thing. Yeah, like. That's something you would you would search out. But West West Creamer's part, I feel this is just how I feel. That shit should have just been when you go to thrashermagazine.com front page. Yeah. Nothing else. For you like, literally right. have to go through his video part to before get you can even see it. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Like if you want to see the junk yeah. drawer, yeah. you have to watch his part. Right. Yeah. 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 But, but I mean, how amazing that, would that be? That's a splash yeah, page. Right. That's a splash page on most of like, Yeah, like we're not sense. we're not letting you in until, until you make it all the way through this video. Yeah piece yeah. right yeah <laughs> i love yeah, it man. i love yeah. it yeah. you know i love yeah. it yeah. you know especially if i have a piece on yeah. thrasher unfortunately so now you know, like, now yeah. i think now you gotta um, go through me to get the yeah, yeah. swift foot mail for four hours on oh there. my god yeah. oh, oh, maybe, 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 yeah. yeah. maybe four and a half hours i can give thrasher and they have to yeah. go through the four and a half hours <laughs> yeah. just to get to the just side. to see what just to see what happens yeah send that to tony and be like hey dude i got this video like we got posted just to see what he would do that would be amazing the thing is that's weird is like time flies so fast now oh my god like it's crazy. what is what is skateboard media gonna be in 10 years yeah <laughs> what about, hey what it's about, all live what about three years i mean sh- look look what's happened in the, the rate so the quickly. rate of acceleration is like it's like increasing exponentially right yeah, yeah. which is scary i know it's it's this is you know something that has been on people's minds you know i mean it was a big thing that went down you know with you and and chocolate and, and Lakai, you know, and you went to Adidas. So, I mean, what what happened? I mean, there was a big debacle and everything. And, what, you know, I mean... There's a lot of miscommunication. Miscommunication. And it was a whole thing, you it's know? Well, it's more, more than miscommunication. It was misunderstanding. Right, right. Yeah. And it was misunderstanding on the part of... Uh, on the part oh, of the fucking drunk. general people out there right were given the wrong information okay right so everybody right. misunderstood mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what happened because they don't know what happened right right the facts is pretty cut and dry yeah. like my you know in september of 2015 mm-hmm. i was one year into my con my shoe contract right and these checks were showing up at my house that were the incorrect amount. Okay, right. Right? Right. So when I called to find out what had happened, mm-hmm. because, you know, yeah, you typos probably, you, or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. figure what's going on. Right. I was told that they didn't, you know, it's like, oh, that's crazy. Like, I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. That's weird. I totally don't know what happened. Let me look into it and I'll get back to you. Right. Like, okay. Never call back. You know, I have a life and expense bills and shit. You have, yeah. I have shit that is non-negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not fucking optional. Right. Yeah. Like I said, like my life is set up very, very delicately and systematically. Right. You have very, You have all your affairs in order, and yep. you you got an A B C D. Yeah, e, dude. F, and like, right. 
you know, I don't own, I don't fucking own no companies or whatever. Like we live check to check. Mm-hmm. Skaters live fucking check to check. A lot of them do, yeah. Yeah, majority, ninety nine percent. Every one of us. Yeah, we live oh, check every to one check. of us. Mm-hmm. Raj, you don't skate. So that's three months of fucking just the run around. Mm-hmm. Then the official call of like, gotta give you pay cut, dude. And I was like, right. fuck, man. After talking about the fucking video for four five hours. Yeah, you're gonna do a new. Project. I'm like, yeah. dude. Morale has just fucking tanked. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I don't it. have a fucking hard on now to just go fucking film a fucking video part. <laughs> no, it's That's going to go it's straight true. to the internet. Right, right. Yeah. No, it's And true. be forgotten in a week. Yeah. So it's just like, dude, I felt fucking gnarly, like felt super bad. My mom died a week later. Oh, man. To the day. Jeez. Wow. Got a call on a Tuesday. I remember it's a Tuesday. Wow. F- fucking November 16th or yeah. something. Like, wow. and my mom died exactly. A, a week later wow so it was like crazy ass call like no yeah. more you know like you're right. fucking cutting your fucking income like yeah. to you know a lot of stuff yeah fucking got a call t- two days later i had to fly to texas my mom died right f- three days after that wow and i just came back and i was like twacked out of my mind for a while i right, was right. devastated it was never the same you know yeah. like i fucking so it was like Breach my contract, give me a second pay cut, mm-hmm. ask me to film a video part, and then something about my mom dying just like snapped something in me. Yeah, it's yeah. gnarly. Yeah, it's just yeah like I when weird. my mom when my mom died, I just was like, I was like, oh, fucking fuck you. I was just like, fuck you, fuck this, fuck all of this. Right, right. Like fuck this fucking job. Like fuck you know. I was just like, dude, fuck you. I remember texting back like after the first call in november i remember going home and being like dude i gotta do the math like i fuck i gotta do the math you know like i was like dude figure this out i gotta like find out the numbers like can i live right (laughs) like can i live like this and i remember texting back like look hey dude like like i can't you know like i did the math like i'm this short you know like something's gotta go right like and my kid can't go yeah you know so i was like all right fuck man i gotta fucking put my house on the market shit i was just like oh fuck man like god damn it real shit yeah Yeah. dude i was tripping i was like fuck anyways yeah so basically uh the the april pay cut call came Mm -hmm. and it was like god you know the pay cut right and i was like jesus christ and then it was like you know what you deserve more than this so basically like just go find another fucking sponsor right yeah you know yeah and then i was like I, yeah, I think that's kind of understood. So I was like, all right, like I'm going to go find another sponsor. Right. You know, and all right, this right. is like the whole time, I'm like, why? What did I do wrong, man? Like, fuck. Right. Yeah. What did I do wrong? Do you think I did you something you wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. No. It's just like <clears throat> skateboard shoe companies make shitty shoes. Nike, Adidas, Converse make really great shoes. People got tired of buying shitty shoes and decided to start buying really good shoes their business started hurting it's just like fuck i mean because like i said i can only see it from the inside right i don't know what anything looks like from the outside but dude from the inside it was like it was like damn dude i put 15 years it's a lot of time like i put i put the the best interests of this company these two companies like ahead of my own like well-being my health right and many times my family my son skateboarding is hard fucking work bro so that was a messy thing and then because uh adidas was had been working on away days for three years they they were like we can't do anything right now okay right so i was like all right like cool chilling then uh right at right at the end of april Mm -hmm. uh the director of the video was like hey dude would you want to have a couple of tricks in the video or whatever right and I was like, okay, cool. Like, if this is going to be my my future shoe sponsor and they ask me to do this, fuck yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I'm going to be working with you and you're like, hey, would you want to do it? Like, you're goddamn right. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so the the Away Days premiered on uh, May 12th. Mm-hmm. I filmed my tricks on May 8th. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Really? Damn! It was a Sunday, Sunday May eighth. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, went downtown with Justice Ott and like, oh yeah, just fucking knocked out two just half-ass bank tricks. Just 
<laughs> no, they were dope though. They, they were sick. Were yeah, yeah, but I hadn't yeah. skated. I hadn't skated on May eighth. I hadn't skated since like January 29th, since the day I threw a fucking shoe. Oh okay, no yeah. way! Yeah. Right, right, right. I was like, just didn't know because I didn't want to be caught wearing any other shoes. Right. Yeah. So I didn't wear any other shoes. Right. You know what I mean? So I went downtown to film those tricks wearing right. Adidas. But I wasn't like, I wasn't mm-hmm. like uh, going to the park anymore. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I had to yeah. stop going to the park. Right. Couldn't shoot ads for anybody. You just yeah. dis- disappeared for a little bit. And it, you know what? Looking back, that was not fucking smart. No? You know, if, yeah. Spit, if, Spitfire, if Spitfire asked me for an ad, I should have just gone and put the fucking shoes on and shot a fucking ad. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's, yeah. about, it's about Spitfire, not my, not my stupid bullshit. Yeah. yeah. The bottom line is like they, they asked me to wait. They took all my money away. Mm-hmm. But then they right. asked me to wait yeah. six months um, or I think it was five months or whatever. Mm-hmm. They asked me to wait till October to go and find gainful employment. Right, mm-hmm. right. And that is just fucking. It's kind of crazy. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah right. when they're not yeah. paying. So you. yeah, when Adidas when Adidas asked me to have tricks in the video, right, I was like, yeah, if I'm gonna be working with you, you're goddamn right it will. Yeah. So when right. you did, when you told them that you were down to have tricks in the video, did you think that was gonna cause it like? A lot of problems for yourself. So the thing, what's crazy is like, dude, oh, the looks, the looks that I was getting and like the fucking shit people were saying to yeah. me, dude, I was like, damn, dude, I, instead of like coming and coming out swinging and hitting back, hitting anybody back. Right. The way that I felt after that, like it took a couple of days. Yeah, I bet. The way that I felt after that, it like freaked me out. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's the kind of thing I've, you know, I've learned over the years that like, fuck, dude, like in situations like that, it's really smart to just stay still because, you know, a really well-respected person mm-hmm. saying something like that, like people are going to b- just believe it. They're going to bl- blindly believe it. Right. Yeah. You know, because like, oh, I grew up loving this dude's video parts or, you know, whatever. There are people are just going to be like, well, dude, like he said it, it must be true. And mm-hmm. this dude, and this dude isn't fucking saying anything. He's got to be fucking, he got, he's got to be guilty. And the thing is, is like, you know how much fucking strength it took to oh, stay still? I bet, I bet. Yeah. So now, right, moving on, you know, you're on Adidas now and yeah. everything. Like, uh, Let's get back to the happy place. Well, yeah, you're not much. I mean, like, Adidas is rad, you know? I mean, they're... they're, they're, I'm, they're, they're I'm, I'm fucking... I'm fucking... Ha- I am happy. Yeah, you should it be. It took a while to shake. Right. To shake, like, the echoes of what some people had... They just, like... Yeah. Very few people came to me to talk to me about it. Right. Mm-hmm. They just fucking talk about throwing stones in a glass house. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I felt so goddamn uncomfortable around around people. Right. And going on Adidas trips. Oh, yeah. Like, that's your introduction to the team? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. yeah. I still feel uncomfortable. No, you shouldn't, though, man. But because I, you know why? I mean, you're... you're I did, whatever, we all, dude. we all know you, you know? And, yeah. like, everybody knows you, and everybody fucking loves you. The whole thing you know? is, like, so, dude, like, st- these fucking people, they, they don't know shit. And I'm not... I'm, I didn't go around, like, pleading my case. I just kept my mouth shut. Right. Because right. I know that nobody wants to hear some bummer-ass shit like that. Fuck that. Yeah. We want to hear good shit. Of course. Yeah. So of I course. didn't go and, like... And then this happened. And then yeah, happened. right. I I am not a fucking victim here. No, for sure. I made a decision for the well-being of my fucking son. Yeah. You know what I mean? And your livelihood and everything, you know? So, yeah. but, uh, my fucking kid, dude, but, fuck all that but shit. You know, my, I mean, ki- my kid, my, my kid, you know yeah, what I mean? Of course, bro. Like he, he, yeah. Dude. Which is, he, he's fucking a rad kid, by the way. Yeah. yeah he's a fucking sick, and, sick skater too. You know, I don't want to come off. I, I hope nobody out there fucking even, even picks up on any kind of fucking like, lack of gratitude right. for my time at Lakai and my experience mm-hmm. there. Like what happened happened and it fucking sucks that it had to happen like had to end like the way it ended. Right. Right. That part is what tripped me out the most. I bet. No, you know? totally. That fucking that fucking sucks. I'm fucking regardless, like I'm like I'm grateful for my time and my experiences uh at Look, Crail Tap. Yeah. And Lakai. Like, dude, we, I mean, we've done fuck, some right that shit. squad, yeah. that fucking squad, yeah. we, we made magic. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did, man. Like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we, yeah. we made, we made history. Right. With fucking those, with everybody. But the squad, like, yeah. everybody, dude. Yeah. It's great. I'm not like, yeah, yeah, I'm not that, I'm not 
brushing that under the fucking rug, man. Right, right. Like, what happened at the very, at the very end of that is yeah. just like like a one shitty drop in an otherwise pretty goddamn fucking awesome bucket. I love that. You yeah, know I mean, that's right. And I'm not here to, I'm not here to like, I'm not here to fucking like turn anyone against anyone. Yeah, right, right. At all, man. Right. I wish everyone the best, man. I hope fucking, I don't like. No I ill want, will. Yeah, no ill will, dude. I want everybody that's like on the Kai and on chocolate mm-hmm. and every. I want, right. dude, I don't want anything bad to happen to those people. I don't right. want anybody, anything bad to happen to those team riders. Yeah, yeah. I want everybody to do well. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't, if you don't wish success for your fellow man, right. you sure as fuck aren't wishing it for yourself. Yeah. 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 You I know mean, what I'm saying? Well said, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I wish, I wish success for like everybody involved. Dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just, dude, straight up. Well, I know that. You know. I just turned 40 years old and I'm fucking lucky to be sitting in this fucking chair right now. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the roller coaster that I've fucking been on the last fucking 25 years. Right, right. Woo! <laughs> God damn, I'm fucking, dude, lucky. <laughs> Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag blessed. blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. Well, we're glad you're here. You know what I mean? Like everything, you know, and I'm glad you're fucking doing well, bro. You know, I mean, we we, we, we talk all the time, but you know, yeah, I'm glad. For you know, hours. For hours. Fucker, we talked on for four hours last night. Chris, man, done. check it out, man. I think you could probably link it to the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my, my voice was so raspy. By my it was so funny. I was like, kept having to drink sips of water. Like, yeah. <laughs> So I think we can link that Amazon product, man. Maybe yeah. get a little. <laughs> no, it's true though. It's true. Yeah. Cheers to Lacroix. Lacroix, baby. Lacroix. Cheers. I only have a drop. Box left. water. Box water. <laughs> Cheers, Raj. Well, dude, this has been fucking great, man. You know. Good Why time. you laugh, dude? Well, dude. I'm just. This is what I do. You know. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, no, but this is. Uh, we got to wrap it up, dude. Because we've been. You know. Yeah. This is fucking great. But uh, we've been sitting here for a bit. We've been sitting here for a little bit, yeah. dude. You're thank you, man. guys. I'm. I love this show, dude. Thank you, dude. This is like. You know, we like, appreciate that. I watch a lot of. I don't watch TV, but like, so YouTube is like the new TV. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I watch a lot of random like YouTube. Just tell us how great we are. <laughs> no, dude. Seriously, this. I love this show. Right. But yeah. I mean, is it just because like uh, it's just normal casual conversation or what? I mean, I what think is it's the, because it's because like, so many because so many people come on the show that I've never met and I probably won't ever get a chance to know them. Right. And it's rad to like hear people like kind of tell like it's like learning about people that you you're not you might not ever even bump into them or see them. You're in the same shit, of course. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. But you're like, oh, like uh, like Jack Curtin. Right, I've never met Jack Curtin. Yeah, like he's a rad skater. Yeah, yeah. 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 we t- we are on total. We t- travel in different social circles. Have always have like never in the same two plate. Never s- same place at the same time. Right, never broke down with him. Really enjoyed his fucking yeah. episode. Right, and it's like that with you all of learn them. about the person. Right, it's it's just cool because it's like it's skateboarding. It's interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. you know, right. just hearing us. Dude, the Sierra Fellers, the Sierra Fellers one. Oh yeah. People need to fucking go watch it's that a good one. one, dude. That right. one is seriously yeah. one of top top three. Top three, yeah, wow. dude. It's so good. Wow. Like all this the, fucking all the stuff he was saying, man. Yeah. It's just awesome to because the shit he was going through was real as fuck. Yeah. Oh, like getting right. kicked off all the sponsors, God, and all that. dude. Yeah. And yeah. then the you know the stuff that he was saying about like the the drinking or Alcohol, whatever. Yeah, that was right. like I was just like, yep, yep, <laughs> <laughs> happened right. to me. Right, yep. Not not only that, but a lot of stuff's relatable, and I, yeah. I like I like to I like to know like how people got their start. You know, I feel like every skater has a know different. What they have for breakfast. I remember what they have for breakfast, but every every skater has a different story. You know, and yeah. it's like wow, man, like it's the come up and the how they got to where they are. It's mm-hmm. fucking interesting. That's you what know? it is. It's, it's interesting. Real, yeah, it's, it's not just like question answer question. Answer. It's like man, let's have a fucking conversation and let's it's like, talk about shit, yeah, dude. It's you know, it's like and because it's such a long thing, it's not like. Top five with Jason Jesse. Right. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> right. Fuck an hour straight with, or an hour and fucking, an hour and 15 minutes with Jason Jesse. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Right. Uh, that's, yeah. I want to see that too. Yeah. yeah. I think Jason sitting here would be incredible. Oh, fuck. Dude, yeah. epic. Jeff Grosso. Oh, God. Dude. Yeah. 
Jason Dill. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> but I think like, like there's a lot of people we want in that seat, man. A lot, you know. Yeah. It's like we have a lot of work to do. You know. It's like fuck, man. You've got your Oof. you've got your work cut out for you, but yeah. like, dude, everybody's got a story, man. I know. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, got cool great. shit to fucking say. Totally. Man. Yeah. And I I love that because there's a lot of like a lot, there's like we were talking about earlier. There's a lot of filler content. Right, like Billy's new whip. Check it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check out Timmy's house. Billy just got a new Lamborghini. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Billy no, just totally. built a quarter pipe in the back. We're gonna we're gonna do a five minute segment on it. Right. <laughs> like, why don't you just not? Dude, hey, I want to thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the fucking frame, bro. With yeah. the switch flip, switch Manny. It's amazing. I'm dude. S- yeah, dude. I'm I'm so stoked at like that. Uh, I am. I'm so like you know what? I'm so proud. Some for some weird reason to okay. toot my own horn. I'm so proud that I thought of that idea. Oh, no, dude, it's yeah. amazing. Are you iPad me? in a frame yeah. playing Chris's trick on loop yeah. indefinitely. I'm, I'm actually that. surprised I didn't think of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you know, switch flip switch Manny. It's my shit. Are all tattoos. these gifts from from guests? Are these people? No, it's know? fucking all Rogers shit. That magazine's right behind you. Of that Trans World, um, random story, real quick. It was randomly my grandma passed away and she had that in her house, like. It was my first magazine I was ever in, but we're all in that magazine. Yeah, all of us. All, yes. all four of us we're are all, in we're that, that magazine. We're all in this magazine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have Mark on the cover. It's fucking weird, dude. We have Mark on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in a fast forward ad for with for audio. Okay. With yep. Bam. How mm-hmm. random is that, dude? Okay, keep going. Yeah, Kelly. That's my first. Yeah. Kelly's first photo on a magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's your first. Wow. Yeah, my first, like, yeah. Was, what is that, tray flip, Kelly? Yeah. yeah that's weird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then and, we uh, have Chris. Yeah. Where Where am I? Let's okay. see. What am I doing? Do I have a skate trick in there? No, you're partying. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then oh, there's, look, me and you, MJ. Chris and Mark. Bro, that was at the Bjork concert on the Hot Chocolate Tour. Yes. Remember that? Yes, yeah, I do. That was amazing. <laughs> That's good. I, I partied believe... with Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great tour, bro. We had fucking so much fun on that tour. Um, you know? What? When did Mark grow here and take his shirt off? Whoa. <laughs> 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 Got a little, got a little hot in here. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, just like. <laughs> um. All right. Well, let's get out of here, bro. This all has right, been great. Bail. Mark, I fucking love you, bro. See you next week. You the man. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, come just back, back next anytime, week. dude. Let's come, come back next week. Yeah. Come okay. back. Come back anytime. I'll bro. come. Like uh. We'll yeah, do it again. I'm here, yeah. So I'll, yeah. I'll be back dude. next weekend. We can just do part like a little two. Part two. Part two coming soon. Got to tell you about Germany '96. People that I was around, like nobody that I was around was drinking. Oh. So that was like, it was it was a huge motivation. And I was at the point where it was like, I gotta stop or I'm gonna die. Right. And oh, then wow. like on this trip, I actually had a seizure. Really? And almost died, yeah. How, what, what kind of seizure was it? Was yeah. it a... Uh, it was an alcoholic withdrawal seizure. Really? Yeah. You don't know I'm a world karate champion? How world? would I know? No Bridges way. would always say that shit. Yeah, maybe he was joking though. I nah, thought he was like, joking. When I was, um, I think 11, uh-huh. I went to uh, Germany. For karate? And fought in my weight class, yeah. Are you <laughs> serious? I got a gold Damn. world championship karate what? medal wow. at home, yeah. Okay, that's farther than I got. I would just <laughs> yeah. break the piece of wood and they'd give me See, a See, like belt. we didn't even have wood.